Oh, you fucking Megan Mo! You fucking Mo! Alright, you fucking Mo! Fuck! And then she hit up what? Incorrect! <laughs> Where's the manager? I demand to speak to the manager. Sit close to the microphone, oh, motherfucker. I gotta find a fucking. I gotta. Just move thing. the chair forward more. Hello, my friends. Welcome. Yeah. It's Sonic the Hedgehog number two. Where? Yeah, there we go. This is a. Uh, what did you do last week? Podcast. Welcome back. <clears throat> we are talking over Sonic 2 today, which is the... Oh, uh, goddamn Sonic. Which is the upgrade version that was on the Android and iOS. Much like Sonic 1, it is vastly fucking improved and really fun to play. Does it have, like, widescreen? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking yeah, at yeah. it in widescreen. Oh, my ears just went fucking Fucking pay weird. attention, Gabriel, you oh. assist. You what? My ears just went, ha! Like, they popped weird. We're not on a plane. I know. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. Did the whole planet just scooch like a little bit? Like, is that what? Because it didn't happen to me. I feel. Am fine. I Magneto? I think this is because you get migraines, don't you? Yeah. Right. See, I think that's related to your laughter headaches. <laughs> you know, like my brain isn't uh, trying to hatch into some abominable uh, monstrosity. I really so. hope I don't have like brain worms or a cyst or something. No, you, you don't. You, you don't. There's, I mean, there's something in there. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know what, but it could be fucking mm. anything. You know, it might not necessarily be some kind of weird Australian moth has laid eggs in your ear while you slept. No, it's but the look, one that, that remember happens, the one that got know? in my head in fifth grade. It's that one. <laughs> <laughs> ear moth. Oh shit, the moths are back. So yeah, this game this game fucking rocks. It's my favorite Sonic game and the special stages in this in widescreen with like a consistent like nice frame rate. Very easy. Like they're actually very easy. Also just, you know, being able to of, see of all of them this these feel like there's actual a degree of like skill involved that's related to the game. Yeah. And as a result, they are fun. Yeah. You know, it's not like the fucking pinball bit. So not even pinball. You know, the bonus stages were just like Sonic. It's pinball. a kaleidoscope. That's what it was. Yeah. But yeah, these are these are consistent. So the pattern's always going to be the same for uh, each level. So every, each level is distinct. So you can memorize it. Unlike Sonic One, which just throws you in the kaleidoscope and, and the fuck is, you. The thing about these old games is you, is that's what they were about. Yeah. It was about memorizing shit and learning exactly. You know, you you you, you go through, you die, and you go, all right, what killed me? And it's like, oh yeah, on this stage, like. Turns out fucking Tails is just a big sack of rocks. Tails sucks. I hate him. He is a detriment because if he crashes into bombs, he loses rings. Fucking does he? Yeah, because he's collecting his own ring count. Oh, so fuck so it's, 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 one more, what I do is try to make Tails get as little rings as possible. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, he's, <sighs> you gotta remember with Tails, he's slightly delayed. So he does everything you do, but like a second later. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, it's like, so I like effect. to pinpoint jump things like close yeah. as I can, like because that's just how I am. And Tails is like, oh, and crashes into the bombs. Simulates having a little brother around to fuck everything up. Yeah, you. essentially. Uh, and this version has like the support for Tails to be able to lift you up and fly and shit. And like, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, at least he's useful then. This will be the version in um Sonic Origins collection. <laughs> out soon I think I wonder how that new Sonic game is gonna go fuck oh, I don't know dude let's do open world why whatever thought you made you think you could do that I mean I get the underlying idea but also there's just like I feel like this is the kind of thing that could be done well it's just the exciting game of you know Sega's track record of it execution is my concern. I want them to stop being fucking Japanese and make Sonic Adventure 3, goddammit! Oh, you got that fucking stop being a mob of nips yeah. and fucking just make me fucking hedgehog game. <laughs> it's just shitty fucking, because it's yeah, just... It's you come in here. Such a traditional thing to not repeat. And it's like, how did we get to this? Literally oh, that, all that your... hurt to watch. Literally all your early fucking life is... Exp I mean, like, the, the, the thing is that, you know, who's doing it, you know? Because it's, if you just get, like, a, a, a fucking, whatever, you know, sign that says Seeger and staple it to some kid's head, 
Like, if there's another kid with Sega stapled to his fucking head, you know, it's not the same but kid. But they don't do that. They just, like, they did it for Sonic Mania, and then now they've... Like... Yeah, no, that's because the, the thing about Sonic, and the thing that keeps the, the cycle of pain going, why are you going backwards? Get rings for the special stages. Because um, you can do, like, shit loads in one level. Is they do do competent fucking games. Yeah. You know, just every now and again. Yeah. Every now and then, the one's like, oh, yeah, this is really good and fun. And then, like, even some of the more experimental ones, like the one that I had on the fucking... What was it? Sonic Colors or some shit? Like, I remember enjoying that. I mean, I, 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 there wasn't a point where I was playing that where I was, like, angry. Or yeah. felt that I was being, like, you know, just witnessing something I staggeringly just, embarrassing. It doesn't make sense to me because they just... Ever, all Sonic fans expect such high quality, and it's just like, no, just just try to have a fun game. Like, Let's... Yeah, let, let's nail down, like, simples first. <laughs> let's get something simple done. Then you can, you know, learn to learn to walk, then you can run. And then you can, like, master capoeira and perform the mighty cartwheel. Fuck yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, a cartwheel's not that, mm, yeah, that, that fucking hurt to watch. Yeah, because, like, right in front of the goalpost. Yeah. A cartwheel's not that fucking hard. It's more, well, I mean, I probably It is when I'm 121 you. kilos. Yeah. And unable to jump slash move. Well. Ass heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, I got a fat ass. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm like, I, you get some gym mats around. I don't like those little monkeys. Fuck you. Fuck you yeah, and no, you fucking. No, they fucking, fucking suck off. because they just sit there. They don't do anything. You're like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna hit him. He's like, ah. And then it's just like, suddenly you. they're a hurt box, you know. And it's like, look, fuck you, you fucking, you know. I mean, I'm not saying it'd feel good to have a monkey throw a coconut at me, but I reckon Pardon. I could. I reckon I could withstand a fair bit. I'm sick of monkeys. They threw fucking shit at us in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now they're I'd, throwing shit at me here. Then I'd go away, and I'd get a bunch of my human tools, <laughs> and I would come back with my coconut launcher, <laughs> and they would learn. We need to make a um. We've angered the gods. We need to make a uh, potato cannon. <laughs> I know I just shit to my oh. cock area, but yeah. Potato can. I really want to make one. I wanted to make one of those when I was a, a, a young and but like fuck, there were just bits that in that that were beyond the capacity. Today of like they're a really simple old. because there's a lot of the shit you need is just like at Bunnings. No, yeah, but also like a, one weird a weird side effect I've noticed to the fucking pills is like I'm way better at like manual tasks. Right. I don't know why that is. I don't know what the correlation or the fucking relationship between those things is, but like... How did you feel doing manual tasks before? Like, how did that make you feel? Well, because like, what would happen is I'd try to posit every possible state. Okay. And that doesn't work. No. And... I don't know, I, I, I think it's the memory. I think it's because right. I can remember what state things were in before I fiddled with them. Uh... And so I'm able to better understand the object both as a collection of pieces and then in its gestalt state or whatever the fuck it's said. Right. Oh, that's right, you don't lose all the fucking... Oh, no, you just you use, lose a little. If I can look at this when it's going at like a nice frame rate. It's, it's so nice, dude. It's, it's, it's actually fun. Yeah. Oh, fucking look at that. Like, I blitz through these. Like, it's they're so good. And it's like, why? Because I'm a skilled player and I've played this game so many times. And you know what? It feels fantastic when it's moving, playing. Yeah, when it's moving smoothly, you can react. Yeah. Like... I used to play this game back on the CRT, and CRTs were fucking good. You know, like... Fucking wizardry. All it this is, shit is wizardry, to be honest. It is kind of funny that it's just like, we're gonna make fucking TV work with like this fucking <gasps> colour grenade going off right? inside a fucking... Yeah. It's still one of the most insane inventions to me, like... Fucking, who discovered that like our eyes... how quickly that finish. shit just became like, oh yeah, fuck, let's have like... You know, we go from like, okay, we've, we've worked out how to like fucking transmit light in a way that we see it and go, oh, well, look at that. It's like, all right, great. You I should move, this, you should move just a bit closer. I've got this story about a fat bus driver and his wife. It's like, yep, fantastic. All right, we've worked out what this is for. I mean, live sports was technically one of the big boosters of it, but like, it became sitcoms real fast. Yeah. Yeah, sitcoms fucking just took over hard. I mean, they're pleasant to watch. Yeah. It, it is funny when you think, yeah, it's like someone managed to fucking get a photon grenade in a fucking, you know, <laughs> glass tub and pull that shenanigan off. And then 
You know, we go from like, oh yeah, that, this is gonna fucking, look at this, is gonna make everyone geniuses. And it's just like, oh man. It's funny when that guy threatens to punch his wife in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Bang! Fuck zoom! It. Straight to so, the moon! One of these days, Alice. I'll fucking kick you in the clan. Wow, I didn't know all astronauts were so fat. He's not an astronaut, it's a TV com comedian. It's just a metaphor for beating his wife. I mean, if it, like... I will say that it is, it, it, it's not like, because I saw old-timey shows where like... I, saw, like okay, I don't know what movie it was, but there was like a guy and a girl, on the, like the girl was on the run from the police, and the guy was like trying to like help her escape. And so when the cops came in to like fucking, you know, search for the girl, he pretends that like... She's his wife and he's hitting her. And the cops <laughs> walk in and just like, Oh, we're sorry. It's like she's cowering and covering her face. It's like, oh, we're sorry. We'll leave you to your business. Oh, my <laughs> it's gosh. It's like, ah. Oh, dude. <laughs> just smacking her around. Oof. I mean, the sad thing is that it's still work with a lot of cops today, so. Oh, that makes me Excuse sad. Excuse me, officer. Eat my wife. <sighs> Fucking... Whereas, like, Alice, I don't think, ever showed up with, like, you know, it's not like she had, a, like, a black eye in one episode and cowered from... That's because he was hitting her with oranges. <laughs> Just... I mean, like, what? You know, look, you don't... You know, it's choke holds and submission locks. You know, you don't, you don't leave as obvious fucking bruisings, you know? I'd use water balloons. <laughs> Pelt them with water balloons, you know? Like, pre-filled, like, hundreds of them. Just have them... Out of there! Home. Sing in an armchair in the dark, light turns on. <laughs> it's just you there holding a water balloon. Hello, you know, my dear. Do you know what time it is? It's bombing time. Egg. Um, <laughs> how was your week? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, slow and steady wins this race, or at least it gets me to death with the least amount of humps. Like, I've had fuck all sleep, because, like, okay, so. You know what, you know, like the air conditioner in this room, right? Like one of those rectangles that lives on the wall. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. So because it's a rectangle, it, uh, it has a fan in there, right? But yeah. it's not like one of the circle fans that goes whirly whirly. It's a cylinder. And the cylinder in mine, like, the, you know how plastic gets kind of like porous and shitty after a while? Yep. Yeah, so I think that must be what was happening. Because like it was, you know, twirling away, doing its merry thing. And then there was just a noise and then, like, a, an explosion of fucking little, like, plastic fucking uh, Kit Kat pieces just came pouring out of it. And then the fan didn't work anymore. And I got the, like, you know, little torch in there and was peeking about. It's like, oh, yeah, the fan's this fucking cylinder of things, and it's just exploded off its fucking thing. And so I'm like, all right, I got to, you know. This was one of those ones that's like, I'll replace a light bulb and do some other shit, but, like, if it requires, you know, if it's a fucking appliance that comes with the house, like the oven or some shit, it's like, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So I was like, all right, this is on the fucking real estate. Yeah. And then, so the real estate solution to this isn't to like, and all right, probably, you probably would have had to go into eBay because it's an older unit. But like, rather than buy what I have to think would have been like a $60 fucking fan cylinder, it was just like, we're just replacing the fucking aircon system. You won't let me in there again uh, after the reset, which is interesting. Two out. Yeah, it's bullshit. And so, like, I just, you know, at like 7 a.m. today, it was like, all right, they're showing up. I was like, oh, fuck me around. How much sleep did you get today? Uh, I don't know, but not enough. It was in that thing, you know, we, you know how you got the cycles? Yeah. So if you're within a cycle, you can, you can fucking get through. It kind of wasn't. Right. And that's, that's always the big problem for me. And I don't know how, but I feel like just somehow I always go to sleep exactly when waking up will fucking just ruin. Mm. You know, I'll wake up right in the middle of some bizarre dream or some shit. It's like, oh, I haven't. I'm my brain still thinks I'm in fucking like deep sleep. And so oh, yeah. yeah, it's just like getting up. And it's like no. And the thing is, the bit they replaced it with is way bigger. Right. And it says like Mitsubishi Heavy Industries on it. And I have never seen anything with heavy industries that written one, on it. That one in there says that. That's nuts. Yeah, I know. Never seen one like that. And I, I did kind of slyly try to get the real estate to, like, fucking put another one in the lounge room as well. Like, a split, <laughs> split system it. Because, like, I don't... You know, it sets me off. Fucking... It was a cylinder of plastic, you yeah. know? Like, I feel like if I went onto eBay and was like, oh, yeah, I need a fucking, you know, dealy bopper for this brand, I probably could find one. Oh, I'm probably going to just plug that in myself. 
But it's just like, we're gonna replace the, and you know, that means the outside thing as well. Like it was two dudes and a fucking, you know, one of those, one of those drills that they used to put the fucking F1 tires on. Yeah. And I was like, Burr. That's like, the thing. It's like cheaper for them yeah. to buy like just a whole new unit because they'll get so much more, you know, use out of it. I figure, yeah, it's probably shit. like an investment or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It just sets that fucking thing off in my Something brain. Something like if the, if the owner of the house was like, yeah, no, put the part in, they would have done it. But, Labor costs would have just been so high, and then you know, probably more shit will break in the future. Oh, more shit will break in the future. This is just one of those old fucking houses. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I went to bed at approximately 7 40 a.m. <laughs> um, okay, so that was like 40 minutes after I woke up. Yeah, I couldn't go to sleep. Uh, anxiety and pain were high, and then I woke up at about 11 30 and messaged you. Yeah, because I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to record today because I got like fucking, yeah, I got to watch on. dudes install a thing. Yeah. And then it was over before you were even awake. I know. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's convenient. It is. It was. That. So yeah, I'm Sinking running up. on like fucking four hours, so it's fun. And I've had a gourd attack, so. <laughs> that sounds more exciting. Gourd should be a thing. You know I know. What I mean? like, it's just the dude who comes in with yeah. the bat. It's like the fucking, the Batsu punishment guy. Just Matsuko Deluxe comes in and hits me with a fucking inflatable hammer. It, yeah, I feel like Deluxe approaches. Yeah. Just gold approaches. And like, I actually see like the subtitle appear in real yeah. life. That would be fucking cool. Yeah, like, I want augmented reality. I mean, yeah, that'd be feasible, really. If you would had you, little, if like... augmented reality became a thing, like for example, we could go to an optometrist and you know pay five hundred bucks and we could get our eyes replaced with like cy cyborg implants and shit. Would you do it? Um, like the technology's stable, everything's like it's it's a well tested thing. It's not like there's I a could, chance to fuck up. You know, like it depends on what we're talking here. Because if I could get like the jailbroke one or whatever, like I don't want to get like fucking Apple's augmented reality. No, no, not, I know not anything be like that. Gumby. It's like it's. It's open source and everything, right. and you know you can put t you can see TVs on walls and shit. Oh and, yeah, you know, yeah, all no, that, absolutely. All the jazz. That'd be no, fucking it'll, awesome. It'll, it'll 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 enhance my natural targeting. I didn't praise. Uh, you know why? I'd fucking change my eyes in a sec because you never know I was high. I mean, you could just use eye drops. I used to do that when I was high, and then I'd like stare at myself in the mirror for like an hour because it just looked really funny. <laughs> like I was high I've, as shit, but my I've eyes weren't that. high as shit, yeah. and I'd just be there going, "You're high as shit, but you don't look high as shit." Except I'm saying that into a mirror, which kind of gave yeah, it away. Yeah, but like, I'm imagining you, well, I'm walking down the street just smoking a joint, right? And my eyes are just, like, I just can change my eyes at will, you know? I could change the I mean, walking down the street everything. smoking a joint will give you away as well. Although I think by that stage it'd just be like legal. So oh, yeah, yeah, just be yeah, like 100%. walking down the street high as shit and people just go, oh, look at that high as shit I just have a guy. weed pill. <laughs> yeah. Just, there might be like eye drops or it's something. It's a suppository. Just... <laughs> In the future, everything's suppository. Yeah. You want, you want a panadol? Yeah. In the bum. Everything goes, everything. Everything? Right up there, including uh, the new Sonic. <laughs> Sonic the plug hog. It's <laughs> Sonic the hedge plug, I'm not sure which one I like better. What was the first one? Plug hog. <laughs> I mean, plug hog does. That sounds more does vicious. Roll. Sounds yeah. more fucking sexual. What was the second one? Uh, Sonic the hedge plug. I think Hedge Plug is like the natural branding we'd go for. You yeah. know, that, that's the official brand one. You know. Don't be a plug hog. Yeah, no, plug hog. Yeah, that's the, the, yeah, that's the slogan. Um, he's not letting me play Sonic. It's your brother's turn to Billy, use the don't plug. don't be a plug hog. We're going to have to use the player two plug. You know what pisses me off? After you get go into bonus stage, they take all your fucking rings. Like, I understand, because then you could just hit other ones, but... <laughs> I had 146 rings. That's a lot of rings. That is a lot. It disrespects you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, shit, a lot's happened since the last recording. I don't know when the last one was. Um. The days blur together. Because, uh, essentially, I am now single. I moved out of the house I was in that I was in with my partner. Um, we decided to end our relationship after 10 years. So yeah, the last ten years have really shot by. Fun, yeah, dude. Fucking tell me about it. Um, I'm looking forward to the HRT de-aging me a little. Um, that'll be fun. Yeah, but it's gonna fog your mind. That's fine. It's already foggy as shit. The lyrica, the swapping. I suppose, it, yeah. For that. 
I mean, at this point, it's not like it can get really fucking worse without just giving you outright dementia, so fuck it. Yeah. If I have dementia, maybe... The funniest maybe thing about all this is, like, your ex-wife's a lesbian, so if this lined up just a little <laughs> bit earlier... I like... know, right? Oh, that's funny. But yeah, so Start I've... Start trying to get back together with her. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> Not not interested in the slightest. <laughs> not even for the yucks, like no. just for the chuckles. No, no. Ah, come on, he doesn't want to get into a relationship just but for I, the chuckles. But I will full, fully transition and catfish my dad to fuck him psychologically. <laughs> that's for the chuckles. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the yuckers. Um, the goofies. It was me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it was me, Paul! It was I... me all along! The the part of me that's good doesn't want the part of me that's bad <laughs> to s s nudge you with all my persuasive hey, minds we're, into we're doing already in the prison business. We may as well uh, yeah. keep Just going. Because to me, that's a bit like you know, that's like the fucking human centipede. Hmm. Like, I feel like it's important that these things just happen so they can be done. You know? <laughs> so they're over and done with. Oh, you know, I think in a lot of ways the species could use that. Just It's like, oh yeah, this thing actually happened. And we can all go, wow, that's interesting. What a magic, you know, what a magical world we live in. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, this one time this Australian dude transfucked his own dad without him knowing. As like revenge. And it's like, yeah. I could put that on uh, I'd M never want MTV. Yeah, like I'd never say that's a thing... You know, I, I, I doubt I'd come up with that idea myself as just a thing. But on here, you know, it's like Human Centipede. On hearing it, you're like, okay, I feel like now that the idea's out there, <laughs> you just have to get it done. Yeah. Because, you know, if the idea, it could get, this idea could get out of hand. You know, right now we're somewhere just sensible with this good old fashioned transcest revenge. You know, I mean, what's. No, there's no telling where this could go. It could go somewhere dark if we don't get this just done. Yeah, gotta nip it in the butt. Yeah. Get it, you know. Get it seen to while it's healthy. <laughs> I mean, because that would be the funniest. I'd need to be in a cupboard. Like, seeing, just so I can burst out with a camera. Because I need... There are some faces in life I just need to see. And that is one of them. You know, when, when, when could you see something else? Like, like, there's no... Like, this is the thing. Like, you know, I can't travel to other planets. Yeah. You know? Like, there's no Star Trek for me. There's no... There's just the here and now. There's this realm of human experience in the mind. And it's like... Particularly when you're imaginative. You know, you did the, the, the... You know, it's like, oh, you could travel. It's like, yeah, but I'm just seeing places. You know? Mm. It's like, look at Greece. Okay. You know, I'm sure it's nice, but it's like, you know, where, where, where's this going? Places are just fucking places. You yeah. know, I need, I, you know, I, I do, I, I, I have that unhealthy addiction to like just seeing people when, you know, not tragedy exactly, because tragedy is easily accessible. But baff, the baffling, mm -hmm. you know. No, I definitely get that. Like something so peculiar. I hate those blue fucking balls. It tr that, you know, simply through raw absurdity, it traumatizes. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, when I, you know, because yeah, I could just invade China and do that myself at gunpoint. There's no art to that, mm -hmm. you know. Again, it's like the, you know, it's universe art. These things just kind of have to. These these things have to happen freely, of their own accord. So yeah. the aircon got fucking put in. Yeah, and I moved, so now I'm living with Sebs, or Wayne. Might have seen him in a video, I You're can't remember. His common law wife. And yeah, uh, changed my name. I'm now Amber Bubsy Costello. Yeah, that's funny, but you're lucky that I wasn't around when those forms were like on a table or something. <laughs> Luckily, they're all digital. I will hack the system. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we chat, I did that. Bubsy. Yeah, Bubsy. And. That's funny. Yeah, I, absolutely. I'll do it for the yucks. And also because my father gave me my middle name, so I don't give a shit, and it's gone. What was it again? Lee. Elder oh, Lee. Okay. That's right. But Elder is Lee it, Presley. Kind of really? Yes. Huh. I've got no attachment to Elvis, I don't give a shit. It's just some fat dude who died on the toilet. 
I mean, that's pretty metal. <laughs> I mean, it is, but he wasn't metal. His diet of problem. obscenely... Obscene sandwiches and 14-year-old girls didn't do his heart I can any good. only imagine he was eating the women. <laughs> like, just just eating. Like, just she was like, oh, yes, go down on me. And then he was like, um, chum, 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 chum. Ah, I'm pretty sure like if you movie. looked up Elvis Vor that, that oh, exactly God. that would exist. Yeah. It's fucking, I just described it too. Yeah, I'm like, part of the problem. That's Well, that's inevitable. I mean, like, it's all right. I'll be into anthro planes soon enough. That's that's the only natural. <laughs> no, that's, that's the only natural progression. I want to find the video of the plane girl on YouTube. I can't find it. Oh, that chick that dressed that like dressed yeah. up. As, yeah, no, I remember that. She was she had a birthday cake, <laughs> and I need to find it again because it was the most. I reckon I can find it. Yeah, please do. I, I reckon, like, you know, unless she's been yoinked off the internet. It, it could be a possibility. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, please try to find it. If anyone can find it. it it's just a video of this anthro playing girl, and she's like saying happy birthday or something, or it's her birthday. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> if you don't know what anthro plans are, oh boy, get ready. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, look, yeah. let's face it. Look within yourself. You know. <laughs> the thing you're thinking, the thing you're dreading. Correct. If the face in the mirror stares back at you... Uh-oh. I just keep thinking of Elvis' songs about Vaughn now, and I've got, like, in the ghetto in my head, but in the throat hole. <laughs> <laughs> and in the dark a young girl cries as I swallow her up to her thighs. <laughs> My throat oh, hole. Shit. My throat hole. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can totally actually see that. It, it lines up. It's true. You heard it here, folks. This is the breaking conspiracy. I mean, it's not a conspiracy because it's proven true. <laughs> yeah. So, we just proved it true. This is fucking nail biting. I don't think I'm getting enough. No. Oh, I'm gonna blame Tails for that. Up. Yeah, Tails can suck my fucking meaty gooch. Perfectly round chihuahua head. How round do you think we can get things? Because we keep breeding things to be a bit wrong. Like, I saw a fox on the internet just a minute ago, but it's like... I don't know, I think the Scandawegians bred it to have, like, the skin of several foxes. Jesus. And the end result is what well, looks like a really poorly rolled joint that wants to die. Oh, man! It's a bummer. And like, I keep seeing this shit and I'm like, all right, could we not like make a dog that can talk or something, you know? Yeah. Like, does it have to be this? Does it have to be like a dog whose skull is too small for its brain, so it's just always angry? Like, as funny as that is in a lot of ways, I feel like this is a waste of our talents as a species, you know? Yeah. I was need... like, all right, that pigeon's got big feathers for shoes. <laughs> Great. The thing that kind of bums me out is like the, the shit we don't know about and the things we don't see. Uh, like, cause... like that fucking axolotl snake that lives in like just a cave. What is the an fuck? Even... Yeah, dude, look it up. It's like this long version like ex... I don't know what it's. I can't remember what it's called. It's like something fucking weird. But it's like it's a snake and it lives in a cave and it's an axolotl and it has like less facial features and it literally just looks like some big weird penis look at and snake axolotl yeah yeah cave but like cave in there as well because i do know it's like it just lives and there's like a whole species of them just lives in like this one cave system because like that's just the way this shit rolls don't know how to spell axolotl a x i got it i got yeah. it google's like hey is yeah. it this and i'm like axe yeah. spray bottle like that uh, yeah see i wrote axe a uh, yeah, a x e no, no. And I'm like, wait, E doesn't go there. Hey, I don't know if there is an E in Axolotl. Because no, it's, it's like, not. it's, it's, I, I, I do love the fucking Mesoamerican fucking words and pronunciations and shit. It's really fun for me. This thing? Yeah, that's, the, 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 hang on, let me, let me find the fucking, yeah. So it's like this fucking, yeah, that. Like, because it has no face. But it looks like it should have a face. Thanks! <laughs> yeah, I know, you see what I mean? Where, like do these, is, where do these live? It just doesn't have a face. Where do these live? I don't want to go anywhere where these are. I don't, want, I, I don't think we're going to be in, like, a fucking cave, you know? We might be. I'm never... No, like, caves? What if we find some Indian and Jones shit? All right, well, the trick with that is don't take the big thing in the middle. Because one thing I always hate, and I think about this a lot with women, is, like, you know, there's this... That was unfortunate. Like, you know, there's this fucking, you go into the room and there's like this huge fucking thing in the middle and that's the obvious fucking thing. But then surrounding that thing's all this other cool shit, like a bunch of gold and jewels mm. and stuff. And all right, you just take some of that. Yeah. 
There's no fucking trap under that shit. Yeah, no. no trap under that shit. No one gives a shit. It's fucking priceless. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's still priceless. Yeah, it's like, oh, look. It's like, you know, I don't need the fucking whatever the fuck. I don't need the famous <clears> jug. <throat> yeah. What does it do? Well, it's supposed to churn butter to gold. That's yeah. a legend. It's just a jug. Oh, yeah. shit. Well, it just makes really good butter. Like, butter, butter was such a big deal for most of human history. Oh, yeah, dude. Like one of the fucking, I think it's, it might be Vishnu or something, one of the Hindu gods is called the Butter Thief. Oh. Because he was a cheeky little boy and loved butter. <laughs> because butter was like, until like the 1980s, the tastiest thing that anyone had ever made. The lady dancing on the butter, that's the reincarnation of that. What? Remember the lady dancing on the butter? To like Adele's rolling in the deep? <laughs> was she a chubby girl? Yeah, yeah. Remember, she was like, uh, I think she was of Asian. I mean, like, I the thing is, that's I don't think that's the only thing like that I've seen. Like, I swear I've seen a similar thing with bananas. I mean, probably. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I don't know if I'm picturing it or if I'm creating it. Uh, we'll, no, we'll see. We'll that's see. something for the fucking, I know, you know someone um, like you, not semiologists to fucking ponder over, you know? What, what am I imagining here is... No, I haven't, because that's a lot of butter. Like that was like my, in my mind, it was just like feet on some like bits of butter on the ground. Not like the fucking. See, this is. This goes, no, goes for four minutes. It's fantastic. This is like this. See, this is in the same. Oh, you, no, no, no. I know that. But like, this is what I mean. Like, this is what I'm saying when I say that like, it's good that like, you know, this, we, this exists. Because then we can go, all right, that bit's finished. We've got that done. She fucking like is she gonna slip over? I'm assuming she's gonna fall over because that's slippery. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, there she goes. I love it. I love people. I mean, the thing about art is just because you're making it doesn't mean it's actually really good. Like, no, God, no. Yeah, but this exists and is on the internet. And if yeah, you, like, see, you that's ever, important. Ever, ever see that lady? You could be like, hey, you're the butter dancing lady, and you know, I'm on the internet eating shit with cinnamon, like. You know, I'm that person. <laughs> There's a lot of things I could be pointed out for. <laughs> butter dancer. Yeah, butter dancer. Me, Dugong fucker, you know? Yeah, um, I mean, I think, like... I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know what the fucking hierarchy is in a technical sense, but I think <laughs> Dugong fucker is probably gonna be, like... I think more people would remember Dugong fucker. True. At least in certain circles. I mean, it's the sad thing is, I've seen those things. I just don't think they'd even help, care. You know? Hypothetically, like, hypothetically, do gun fucking. Like, cause I've seen a video. I've, you know, I've seen like, oh, a yeah, video, dude fucks a horse. Like, all right, what's that look like? And the horse doesn't even seem to be aware of it. No, because like, the pheromones, the pheromones aren't there, so they don't. Well, that and like the dick's like an order of magnitude smaller. Yeah, that's you know? it. Like, it's not like the inverse where a horse fucks a dude oh. and that dude knows it. Yeah, that dude's not pooping well anymore. Or dead. It's uh, like, in the Mr. Hands video, the... I guess we'll call him the chaperone. <laughs> right oh. right as the dude's grunting as he's feeling his fucking colon get perforated, he goes, he likes you. It's like, yeah, <laughs> looks like it. Oh, yeah, that's fucked. No, thank you. Still impressed by vulvas, and I'm just happy with that. <laughs> just happy it doesn't have to get, like... That much more complicated. Yeah, you yeah, know, pretty much. To where I much. gotta like, because I wonder about that. Like, how do you? I mean, I suppose these days it's all just forums, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's that's taken the magic out of everything. God damn it! Because in the olden days, you just had to have to, I don't know, go to like a fucking petting zoo and like raise an eyebrow, you know? Like, how do you broach that? Yeah. You know, what were the fucking subtle cues there? You know what I miss from fucking early days? Uh. Putt putt. Themed putt putt courses. There used to be a lot more of them. I feel like a putt putt course is the kind of thing you can get going in the home these days fairly easily. 100%. Like, I feel like you could just get squares of that shit. Like, from Bunnings. Like, yeah. honestly, like, Bunnings didn't exist. You had to go to, like, Mitre 10, and it was always, like, fucking just Mitre some 10. stuff. Like, Such they never, they didn't have, like, a half a house at Mitre 10, no. you know? That's why they the Bunnings came in and sweeped them. Yeah. Because they were just like, good. hey, we've got everything. And it's like, hey, they've yeah. got everything. And it's fucking well priced. Yeah. Fuck you, Mighty Ten. Do you want to, like, fucking, I don't know, try to make a whole house in your mom's backyard? Yeah. 
That'll show her. You know, XX Corp, big corporation, bad, but, you know, they made something better. Like, I know they're, they're fucking huge and they're, you know, putting people out of business and shit, but it helps people as a whole. It also keeps the weird Bunnings nuts to Bunnings. Because they're, they're there. They're fucking there. They'd be there every day if they could. I used to have a dude who came into cash converters nearly every fucking day after work. He was a tradesman, and it was just like, You've got nothing else in your life, do you? Yeah. There were downsides to liquor service, but one of the things I did love about it was like, you could tell people to fuck off. Yeah. N nobody questioned that. <laughs> and sometimes you were legally obligated to. Yeah. Which is the shit. Absolutely. Because, like, whoever, I don't know, I, I gotta look it up. I, I know I did try once, but I didn't find what I thought was a satisfactory fucking answer. But, like, whoever started this customer is always right businesses. I feel like it's also one of those apocryphal things, like, maybe it was just in an episode of Bugs Bunny or something, and then it just took off. Yeah. Whoever it was, I do want to throttle them. Yeah. Because I remember my years of retail, and I fucking hated it. Yeah, the worst part is because you're already a beast. There'd be like kids and shit. Like, you know, people you can't literally look them in the eye I was and at say. Stafford's though. I was in the crossroad of the weird. It was like <laughs> being in the, twi the stair scary door some days. Like, not the Twilight Zone level, but the scary door. Like, yeah, because the just... Twilight Zone would be educational. Yeah. There was just like dipshits. Like, I, I always love, I think I've told this story a few times that my boss used to love setting the um the kids that used to come in with down syndrome on me and like I, Get em. i'm not joking these these people legit had down syndrome not yeah. not not like they looked like it or anything but anyway they'd come in eating like cheetos oh, fucking jesus i know coming eating cheetos right and so they're just dusted in cheeto dust all over the face all over the hands and they go, they come up and they go When's the new Shrek game coming out on the GameCube? GameCube would be dead for like two years at this point. And I'd, I'd sigh because every time they'd come, I'd try to look busy or serve someone else. So my just, boss would have to serve them. Yeah. But we were never busy enough when they'd come in. So he'd always like, he'd go, oh, Aaron over there knows. He knows yeah. all about that. He, he'd love to stir that shit. So over they come. I mean, that is funny. And <laughs> that's, I mean, that's what I do. Like, I just, you know, oh yeah, that's uh, that's his department. And that's then, uh, like, that's uh, that's our, uh, he, he deals with all the Shrek. Then they try to touch everything and I was like, please stop. Like, wash your hands, you're filthy. Where's your carer? And like- yeah, Where's the person that prevents this from happening? And they were somewhere else. And she's fucking like, okay. That's the thing. Like we got people like that dropped off more than fucking kids. Yeah, you know, I just let them walk around the mall. I'll be oh, fine. Dude. Like some people just need supervision. Oh well, yeah, I mean, usually there are supposed to be like carers, you know, to make sure nothing goes fucking horribly south. Yeah. So yeah, that was that. And I mean, there were street weirdos doing fucking like bar work, but like, I mean, I think legally we are allowed to serve people with Down syndrome. I don't think they're not allowed to buy booze. I'm not actually sure what the fucking deal is on that. Because I'd say, yeah, like, you know, fuck it. You know, well, you know, provided they're not, like, fucking tan, you know. Mm. Although, I mean, really, what are you fucking worried? They're going to give themselves brain damage? Like, you know. They might get super strength. <laughs> you don't, don't know. know. Yeah. Flip over the bar. Maybe it's Whole like... Whole fucking bar! Maybe it's like Gandhi and Siv, and, like, you yeah. dunk it down another few levels, and they Dude, come back around to genius. Whatever fucking god of weed is, I'm fucking... That's my religion. I'm looking that up. I mean, there there's is gotta one. be a few. There is one, because like when I used to do tech repairs, I used to work with a few Indian boys, and they used to teach me all about it. Um, I've forgotten it completely because the lyric I took it, but I used to fucking love playing Tanook Tanook. Was it? It's an Indian song. It's a you you would have seen it like because it's a. You would have seen, like, if you see the dance moves, you would, you've okay. probably seen it somewhere. Probably, yeah. Um, the guy who makes it is, like, infamous um, because I think he's, like, they told me, like, he's, he take, he's like a human trafficker. So when he goes on tours, they, like, smuggle people, like, that's, across that, borders yeah, that's and not shit. Great. 
<laughs> so, I mean, like, well, okay, why is he... Uh, I mean, I'm like, I'd like up. to think he was maybe helping some refugees, but, you know, I'm going to just I'm assume he's selling 13-year-old Indian this. girls to, like, to look, to look American record executives. Dale Mendy. So they're basically making their white pet do, like, a pedophile dance for their own amusement. Which, look, to be fair, that's funny. I mean, look, comedy is comedy. I don't know what killed you just This though. is the guy there. Oh, wasn't there like a thing where he was all different colors? Like yes. he was the Power Rangers? Yes, 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 yes. Alright, yeah, there we go. That's one of his songs. Okay, like why was he smuggling people? Or is That's this like a thing like when like, you know, or if it's, you black know, musicians would like, you know, fucking take a groupie across state lines and they'd count that as like people child smuggling. Although, you know, this was like in the 40s and some of them were 14, so. Then Jerry Lee Lewis married like his 13 year old cousin, so it's like, alright, look. The South's gonna South. Well, what can you do? I think they were lying to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I mean, Jerry Lee Lewis did marry Indian his cousin. Indian pop star Dala Mendy sentenced to jail after human trafficking conviction. Here we go. Alright. Uh, an Indian pop singer, Dala Mendy, has been sentenced to two years in jail in a human trafficking case. The Hindu reports Bakshish Singh from Tyler registered a case against Dala Mendy and his brother Shamsha Mendy. His name is Shamsha? It just sounds like he's Sham, you know? Alleging the duo took money to take him to Canada in 2003 illegally. Dala Mendy was arrested following the registration of the case but released on bail thereafter. So wait, that was like his brother he took to Canada? That's so no, no, Mendy and his brother took the other guy across the border. Okay. So like, did the other guy want to go with him? He was trying to sneak into Canada, was that it? Like, was that the deal? Around 35 more complaints, leveling charges up, fraud against the brothers came up, so maybe they were taking too much money or not taking them or something. According to a report published in the Times of India, Dala Mendy and his brother Shamsha were accused of taking passage money from people to help them migrate to US illegally by describing them as members of his troop. <laughs> It's been alleged that Mandy Brothers took two troops in 1998 and 1999 where 10 people were taken to the US as group members and dropped off illegally. On Friday, he was convicted and sentenced him to two years in prison for his involvement in a human trafficking case and fined uh, <clears throat> 1,000 whatever that currency is. He was, however, released on bail bond. I'd, I'd call that the light, you know, provided like you know, if provided he wasn't like fleecing him, you know, mm. like it's like, oh, all right, you fucking, you know, it was an adult that wanted to go. It wasn't like a confused 13 year old. Yeah, but there was also 35 other complaints, so we don't know what the fuck they were. I mean, look, yeah, if he's like, you know, uh, maybe he was molesting the adults. <laughs> I mean, possibly it's part of my troop. It's part of my troop. It's, it's the initiation. <clears throat> you want to get across the border, right? <laughs> you want to get across the border, don't you? So that's what I mean. Like, if it was that, then that's bad. And if it was like, all right, give me your whole life savings so you wind up destitute and working as a prostitute for my cousin. It's like, all right, yeah, that's bad too. Like, there are lots of ways this could be very bad, but just from, you know, I've gone from like, okay, he was people smuggling. That's not like great. To like, all right, well, this is the, this is the, this is gentle, you know. This is a very gentle form of it. Yeah. So yeah, that, that okay. They weren't lying. That's actually that's interesting. Um, and they weren't doing like you know a white boy pedophile dance for him. That's nice. Is it, maybe they really were your friends. I mean that dance is fun. <laughs> it's in World of Warcraft as well. All right. Yeah, it's the the Draenei people dance. Fuck you, grounder! You cunt. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, tomorrow is what I also did you do last week. Oh, yeah, I watched all of Malcolm in the Middle. That was fun. <laughs> and then I probably restarted Malcolm I mean, in the Middle. <laughs> okay, so, like, you've been watching that for a while. You didn't just watch that all last week. Did yeah, you? correct. All right. I watched a big chunk of it in the last two weeks, because being single and having time and sitting, looking depressed at the ceiling, so I may as well look at depressed <laughs> at the TV. 
Um, so... <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think I want Malcolm in the Middle associated with sad single life. No, well, let's, it made me happy, Let's shift so... to something else. You said you watched Becca. I didn't watch Becca. That's a sad single life TV show. Fucking, I like Becca, though. Well, Ted Danson's a gem. Yeah. I mean, he was... One of my absolute favorite moments in all of television is in The Good Place when, like, Eleanor finally figures out that it's the bad place. And Ted Danson just laughs. <laughs> and it's one of... It's it's that laugh of, I've been caught. Mm. Caught with some... Caught doing something convoluted and ridiculous and it didn't work. And so now I'm just here looking... Like, it's a similar laugh. You ever play hide and seek and you fucking jam yourself into, like, some old cupboard downstairs and it's awkward and you don't fit, so you're sort of upside down. And you're there for a while, and then finally, like, your cousin just opens a door and just sees, like, this fucking 90 degree wrong way face upside down, swollen from the blood. And you just make eye contact, and there's just this horrible moment of, like, reality where it's just like, wow, this is incredibly stupid, everything we've ever done. Like, not even just this, like, the whole of fucking life is just ridiculous. Like, everything's just this one thing of us in a cupboard. And all you can do is go, <laughs> and it's just there was an element of that to it, which just really. So, fucking speaking of that laugh, there's a bit of Malcolm in the Middle where Reese likes this girl, and he's crying about it. Malcolm's like asking, and it flashes back to like Reese. He's like, "I've done everything I can," and he goes, just, "He's just tormenting her constantly." But shit. he's he's giggle. He's like, yeah. <laughs> "It's like really fucking perfectly pitched," and it's just. Now, Malcolm oh, in the Middle is an so amazing good. show, and it's such an amazing transitional period show, you know? Because it, it can get away with having the kids be bored because the internet wasn't really there yet. Yeah. Which well, is it's nuts. Just, just, dude, 100%. It, it, is a, it is a show, I think, that is severely underrated. The whole cast shines through the whole fucking thing. Because as you said earlier when we were talking about it, off record, that it's a link thing. If one of those links is just... Yeah. You know, not holding up their weight, the whole show falls apart. Yeah. And the writing was so perfectly keyed to how the kids grew. Yeah. Like, the show really takes off once Dewey's able to really engage as a character. Because they can get away with some wild stuff with him. You know what I really enjoy is when, because they send the oldest Francis to military school <laughs> because he's not behaving, which of course is not going to make him behave anymore. And then when Reese leaves and joins the army at 17 he becomes the perfect soldier because he turns off his brain yeah. he, he goes i just stopped thinking just and stopped started thinking. listening yeah. to what you did and so the commanding officer goes nuts he thinks he's the best soldier ever and i love the contrast to francis because yeah. it's just like one completely rebellious won't do what the fuck they're told the other does everything they're told to the, to the detriment as well yeah because he, he just finally broke him and then, like, just walks over and he's just like, he's surprised that Reese has done such a good job. He's just like, I just, I didn't want to be hurt anymore, so I just did exactly what you told me. <laughs> just all my life I've been in pain because I keep thinking. <laughs> if I just, I just do what people tell me, the, then the, things work. So he's in, when they get in trouble because they get captured, they're doing a, a live fire, well, not live fire, but they're doing a training exercise between two teams. And they get caught and they're locked up in cages. Reese manages to get out and they're like, Reese, you've got to do something. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn on my brain. And he, he sits there and he like closes his eyes and he looks like he's hard thinking really hard, then he opens his eyes and he's like, Did I do it? And it's just so perfect because it's like, we don't fucking know. And he's like, I don't I don't know. I think I did. <laughs> he's just Fuck man, it makes me laugh. It was a good it's a, it's on Disney Plus if you're in Australia. I don't know about it. Overseas. Just steal it. Well, I mean that too. Like. The weird thing is, is like, because like the name of the dude that like created it, Linwood Boomer. Linwood is, fucking Boomer. I know, which that is an insane I, name. I looked him up because yeah, I, no, had, to, I this, had to know. Because you're like, oh yeah, like, because you think, oh, I wonder if he's made anything else. And the answer is no. no. He was the guy from like Anne of Green Gables or some shit. He made like, for, he, like he acted in that for years and then he did Malcolm in the Middle. And they that appears to have been fucking it. Yeah. I wonder how wonder how much residuals they get for that. I know that, like, fucking ha every song that fucking Hal whistles in the show is something that, like, fucking Brian Cranston 
wrote himself and he oh. got himself put into the fucking songwriters union. Nice. And so each of those songs is like a song he wrote. And so every he gets paid. Yeah, like, so every time. And so he had these this thing at the end of the like the thing with for like last year's residuals he'd like spend on like a fucking party or something for the you know for the show. Oh, that's lovely. That's yeah. like cause I wouldn't even think of that. No, you know, God no. That's the kind of thing I'd be like, oh yeah, whistle a tune. Alright. I mean, I probably couldn't come up with a tune. Cause I mean, that, that's really... fucking, that's really smart. Like, actually, like, oversight. Because, especially around that it's time. The guy that played Fei Long in Street Fighter 2. Oh, dude, I love, that's a, I, I, we need to meet him because I need to just talk to him as if nothing just, else exists. Yeah, like, we don't know about Malcolm the Middle or Breaking Bad. No, or any of his yeah. other projects. We only know him really as Fei Long. just impressed with his uncredited anime voiceover <laughs> work from the 90s. <laughs> Oh shit! It would be. We need to find out if he had a nickname or anything that he went by around that period. Oh, fuck, man, God. I mean, well, I mean, th it'll be in there somewhere. Yeah. But like, I know it's not on any lists. You know, like it was. It was one of those things people had to sort of fucking figure out. Mm -hmm. Which is fucking nuts. But yeah, I, I'd, I'd need to do that. That's that's one of my goals in life. Just to find Brian Cranston and talk Street Fighter Two at him. <laughs> Just like, I just and ask him when Street Fighter 3 is coming out. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. When's Street Fighter 3 coming out? I so thought we could you'll, act like we just came out of a bunker, you know? You'll be that guy that the manager, like, sends over to deal with the employee he doesn't like. You know? I'll just be like, oh, God. Here comes the fucking world warrior. <laughs> Uh, over there. Yeah, that's uh, that's fun. I watched a movie called Head Count. Okay, so it's a horror film, and it's it's kind of a bummer because like, you ever like be doing a really complicated thing, and you're doing it like so well for so long, then you just run out of time, and you go fuck it, mm. and then just yeah. So that kind of just feels like what happened here. It's like it's basically oh, you want balls, spiky balls. <laughs> I feel like poker machines should have those. Yeah. You know, like that's how I'd that's how I'd meet the gaming industry halfway. Just shoots out bees if you get like the bees come up. <laughs> yeah. Bees, yeah, bees come out of the thing. Or there's one that just like if you get three lightning bolts, you get a vicious shock. There's a know? water gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Filled with pee. There's also one that gives you like jets. You gotta top up the pee. <laughs> Where you get jets. Yeah. So it's and a that treat. can be pretty good if you enjoy jets. Yeah. If you're allergic to jets, yeah. suck shit. I'm more of a salado man. I find I jets like a bit too. Yeah, jets are a bit too complicated. Saladas you know? are so nice with a little bit of Vegemite on them. Yeah, that's a bit much for me. I just I I, I have them by themselves in lieu of uh, chips. Right. You know they like you know because there's less, there's a little bit less oil in them. Yeah, yeah. And God, I like crunchy, salty things. Oh fuck yes, know? yeah. And it's like but. I gotta be careful because like, I can't just eat like because I, I I could but like biologically I could Why eat just. Why are we predisposition to want to just cram salt in our faces when it kills us? Oh, because it used to be red. No, but like, why do I want to do it? Like, is is it is that like a genetic breeding thing? Yeah, yeah, no, because like this shit, the stuff that we're like compelled to eat garbage fucking quantities of, right? Yeah. Doesn't occur normally in, you know, a fucking hunter gatherer diet. Hmm. I mean, you had to be lucky. Salts have an important fucking role in, you know, how your body functions. Oil, hugely important. Fat is great, because that's just pure energy, you know? Hmm. You could get fat, like, back when we were just walking around. You could just, like, walk around and find a big old pile of hog fat. It's like the best fucking day. <laughs> but, like, that's also, you know... If your that's... roommate is poorly, <laughs> yeah. he has lard. lard. Yeah, like, if you could just find lard, you're like, oh, yeah, this is the best. Yeah. Like, because, again, you know, your day was... Everything was like, all right, I gotta get up and walk over here because this is where the things I'm gonna eat today tend to, you know, live and shit. Like it, you know. I, I was thinking about that the other night when I was like too lazy to go to the shops. I was like, there was a time it was like, how am I gonna eat it all today? And it wasn't like, can I be <laughs> fucked walking down the road to where there's just a big pile of shit? Like, no, it was like, you know, I better hope some, you know, baffling natural calamity hasn't befallen the fucking pigeons that I consume. Because if that's happened, I'm just fucked, you know? Like, that was, it was, it was everything. It was your whole, the whole human brain was dedicated to, I'm going to figure out. Imagine going back food. to those times and showing them and explaining them Uber. <laughs> yeah. 
Just hey, showing is, them fat people. Like, hey, a, check this out. This is Uber Eats. Oh, what's Uber Eats? Well, they bring the thing that you yeah. know you have to hunt every day right, so to your door. Hey, this is, this is, there's a shit called metal, all right? But like, cause like fucking, you know, sugar. Again, it's just all of the stuff that is delicious is delicious because you never found it in significant quantities. And it's hugely beneficial if you're a hunter gatherer. Right. It's like, you've got fat, great. That's energy, that's pure energy. You could just like have it in you. And you then, did show me that video of the you know, 200 and fucking, what was it, 91, or was it 39? 231? It was big, yeah, it was, it was, it was one of the heaviest sumos I've seen. Yeah, it was a 230 kilo Which fucking. Just like 500 and like 20-ish pounds or something. Oh yeah, no, he, he was tits on top of tits. Yeah, and he was, was massive. Yeah, he's division five though. So that's the thing, like, is he, he, like, the fascinating thing about sumo as a fucking combat sport is there's no weight division. Which, yeah, when you told me, just was broke me. Yeah, so there are like- that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's, it's, it's a fascinating, like, cause so the way sumo works though, is it's not like say, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or like just, you know, some kind of mixed martial art in general, where like, which even then, cause like one of the great things about like the Japanese MMA like things is they'd always have one fight on a card that was like a fucking 30 kilo Muay Thai expert versus like a, just a sumo. Mm. Just to see what would happen. And like finally enough, a lot of the time it would be the fucking little guy. Cause you know, the fucking honking great monstrosity just wasn't quick enough. And it really would come down to just watching this fucking tiny little axe fill a tree. And after, after like the tree takes a while to go down and it, after a while it's starting to feel a bit sorry for it. And you just wish yeah. someone would like fucking stop this. But like, yeah, it's, Kasumo has like, Kasumo just doesn't have this shit. It's just, you, you sort of work stuff out. Mm. So like there is, there, there, there are a few guys who are really, 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 really fucking good. Cause they're small and they have to be. There's no like, oh, I can just rely on my fucking weight here. There's, I have to execute a technique incredibly precisely. Otherwise, you know, I'm getting rolled out. And probably the hardest thing he has to deal with is his height. Cause he's so fucking short, you know, like it was like how I'd get like fucking big cunts out of the bar sometimes is if you get in like a good low lift and just stand up, if you're grabbing low on the waist, that is off the ground and there's nothing they can do. Mm. And like that's, you'll see that happen to him. Like there's this enormous Georgian motherfucker who just, just picked him up and just walked out. There was, just, <laughs> there was just nothing he could do because his feet were off the ground and that was it. Mm. And that's not so much a fucking weight thing as it is a height thing. Right. Like dude had just, just had the legs to get him off the ground. Fucking I should be sooner. I mean, it's, it's a fascinating fucking I can't thing. can't break my back. Well, you, I mean, your knees would explode. Yeah. And yeah, it's not a good sport for people with like exploded lower back discs. No. I just want to eat food, to be honest. <laughs> the, the crazy thing about like the sumo is like, they, you know, they're not sitting around just slugging Pepsi. Yeah, no, like, I know. No, but the, that's the crazy thing is like, they eat this shit called chanka, which is like the healthiest eat, food. Yeah. But they eat a bathtub of it Fuck and then load. have a nap. Yeah. yeah. And then they go to sleep. And so it's just- just like bears. They're just fucking pretty hard. Pretty much, yeah. And then we shave them and make them wallop each other in a fucking room. See, I feel like that would be fun. Like, I wish my back wasn't broken, damn it. Um, Maybe the doctors can <sighs> give you like, like a bonus pussy back what there. What a robot spine. Yeah. I mean, you know. What a pussy on my back do? I'm a fuck, man. I don't, I'm, you know, we're shooting for the moon here, right? Oh. All I'm saying is lots of people have got like, there's, there's, there's pussies. There's no back pussies. I mean, there might be. <laughs> have you Didn't ever, I have, have an you... asshole? It's pussy now. <laughs> have you ever looked for the ass pussy? <laughs> I, sir, have never gone in the quest of the ass pussy. Well, we shouldn't use the American term. We should use the Australian dunny cunny. <sighs> Fucking dunny cunny. Made a gay friend gag with that. Or the bum fanny. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, dude. Right in the dunny cunny. Fucking... They gotta be, I mean, like, come on, let's just chuck some shit at it, you know? Like... Yeah, I don't, we have to dare to dream. I, I'm fine with that. I don't want it done to me, though. Well, I mean, like, it's hey, not I like it's like, getting better. Unless it's free. Well, this is what I mean. You, you gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta get these people in their ego, you know? Because, yeah, like, yeah. no one, you know, unless, I don't know, you perform the fucking, you know, five millionth pussy installation is going to be amazed by, like, someone doing But if... If you're like, I installed a whole fresh one somewhere else, your name goes in a book. You know, people will be talking about you for ages. That's yeah. your fucking career. 
you know? And like, that's where you get them. You're like, look, you know, I can't afford to pay you exactly, but I can afford to just let you like, you know, try some shit. I want a fucking third eye like Tian from Dragon Ball. I worry what that would do to like, you know how like, you know, when you focus on your nose and there's that blur that your brain consciously oh, yeah, edits yeah, out yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. I just worry about that, you know? I don't want to have to like, have a little blurry top bit for a while before my brain learns how to fucking do that. And I don't know how plastic my occipital well, load is Well, hopefully by this days, point you know? we've worked out how to wire it, you know, in properly. It's just pre essentially like playing, plugging in RCA cables. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that would be handy. Oh. I mean, it would open up some wild shit. Because that's when you can just start slamming in back pussies. I want body modifications. Yeah. Because, like, I, just, I know we've talked about this before, but I just want to plug my phone into my arm and charge it from my blood. <laughs> I look at that up. I mean, this is the thing, like, because I think a lot of the people who do this stuff are, you know, like, power terminal, but a lot of them are just fucking cowards. You know, this is just, like, you know, this is basic shit. Yeah. You know? I'm going to look up charger with your blood. Yeah. Charger phone with your blood flow. Okay. But, I mean, if you're already having someone, you know... Turn your fucking Audi into an innie. It's like, well, fuck it. You know, let's... You know, while, while we're going 100 miles an hour, let's hit a ramp. Hmm. What do the fucking bonus stages do when you're not getting the fucking, you know... I guess gray, I suppose, about getting Chaos Emeralds. Good question. I think it might just put you into a bonus level, like the other ones. I don't know. There's a sub bonus. I'd do that. Just the game starts off and you get to a bonus stage, and if you succeed there, you get to a bonus stage, and it just keeps going through more and more ridiculous bonus stages. And you can never actually make it back to the real game. The real game's there. It's important that it that it's there. Damn it! Blood charging isn't quite there yet. Piss off. Some ass. some chick like designs she made one that like harvests. Yeah. Like the kinetic energy right. and uses blood and shit. There's a lot to read. I didn't so it's like a snowy a river it. thing, but with like your fucking. There's a thing that inserts in the arm, and there's a bridge that goes across the nose. And there's a third piece, and it's just very interesting. But like, I just want you know, simple. Stall that shit. I'm ready to go. So this is the problem: is we don't get like, you know, no one's taking these risks. Yeah. You know, no one, because no one wants to sit there and go, yeah, fuck something up. <laughs> no, know? exactly. Which is kind of like, well then, I you know. I fucking hate this level. Yeah, but you got all the chaos fucking, you know, dually whackers. Oh, no, I don't do it. Yeah, you've had all the chaos emeralds for quite a while. I don't know. I, oh, is that was... why I'm smacking and shit, maybe? Well, it's why the stage is grey. That's oh. what I was talking about. I was like, oh, what happens uh... when you get all the fucking stage chaos fucking, you know. I don't know if I did, though. I don't really think chaos... Emeralds when I think chaos. You know, I think mushrooms. Mushrooms are chaotic. You know, a, a crystal is is order. Beautiful, beautiful order. Do you need to get the grey one? Oh, that's a point. I just figured once you had the ring, I was, you know, once a ring is complete, my brain goes, you've got Have all I the things. Have I turned into Sonic? Supersonic? Oh, I didn't know you turned into Supersonics, like, when you got it straight away. Yeah, you just need to get 50 rings and jump. Oh, okay. Nope. Well, I guess you don't then. Well, I don't have 50 rings. Oh no, you've had you've you've had uh, oh, there must be a right, gray right. one that goes in the middle and yeah, I wasn't aware yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. I, I I just figured once the right. loop was complete you'd uh, you'd successfully um you know right. like you've gotten that. Um what else did we do this week? Oh my I finished uh played and finished Metroid Dread. Which was fun. I enjoyed it. That's a fun game. Yeah, unfortunately the Switch hardware is fucking a garbage. It's so and funny because I played it on fucking. Yeah, I asked if you played it on an emulator or the yeah. hardware, and you're like emulator. I'm like, yeah. did it run a consistent sixty? And like, yeah. you're like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's fun. My version slowed down when I was in water. Um, so it's... the emis or imis, whatever the fuck they're called, the robo Emmys. dudes. Yeah. When they grab you, there's two chances to do a counter attack on yeah. them. And in the water, the frame rate drops so fucking low that it feels like there's so much input latency that it's nearly impossible to counter. That's so fucking funny. And it's just like, why? Well, we made a game that requires reaction-based shit. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, do you have the hardware? No. The hardware that the Switch was built on was old when it was built seven years ago. Yeah. Like, the Chinese handhelds I play with get 
better and more updates than mm. this. It's like, I just, please just do a pro version. Like just do an upgraded version. Like it doesn't have to be that much. You just need the that. The super switch. <laughs> that would be funny. Make it just a big one. <laughs> like the exactly same design, just giant. Including yeah, like the first? D-pad, you gotta Rather use your hand. Rather than a handheld you use at home, it's a whole home console with handles that you can just... It turns into one of those old arcade, you know, top-down ones. <laughs> it's a <laughs> fridge. Because <laughs> uh, it is, it is like, it's it's like, yeah, good. yeah, no, I know that there's games on it. It's ancient fucking hardware. It was an embarrassingly bad when it was fucking made. And it's like, it's been barely hanging in there for a while now. I mean, it... Until they fucking, and it was wild that it got released like that, but until they updated well, the, thing, the shit out the of it. The thing is, most games on it just don't need, like, they're all scaled down and stuff, and like, it's the thing about the game is just the, the, the system, it's just it's a bestseller. Like, it, it, it survives because they just, it's the Nintendo thing they've done for the last 50 years of just, we use outdated parts as long as we can. And like I'd be more okay profit. with that if I felt like they were saving the money to do anything with it. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. They're just sitting on cash reserves. Yeah. They got one of the biggest cash reserves in Japan. Um, which, which is what? Yeah, because like it's okay. wild. That's fucking wild. Like, um, but yeah, it's just they're gonna they're gonna go back into making Hanafundu cards. That's, yeah. that's what they're gonna go back into. It's like that thing I always think of about how like for ages. You know, even when the 360 was out and like, you know, the Xbox was like, because, you know, the PlayStation 2 was the console of its era. Yeah. And then the 360 was the console of its era. Yeah. Like, just every cunt had a 360. It was just fucking everywhere. Yeah. And like, you know, like, I get like, okay, you're going to make money on every console sale and like these ones and stuff, but it's like, you know, you did that with the Wii, you did that with the Wii U. And like, and it's probably, you know, my fault for thinking that there was a point to this. <laughs> but I sort of thought there was a point to this, you know, like... There was no point. They just yeah, want Miyamoto want to make reserves. fun. The crazy, again, the crazy thing is, is like, they could have, you know, could have done something, like... Because the wild thing is like, someone... Got like, because there's a Switch emulator for like Android, right? Mm. And you can, because it's basically a phone, you can get Android to boot on a Switch. Yeah. So someone downloaded the Switch emulator for the Android on Switch and got the Switch emulator running the Sonic the Hedgehog game on, on Switch. Yeah. And I, like, as someone who's been following emulation for fucking eons, I think that's the first time anything like that's ever happened. It's fucking wild, dude. Yeah, like, I don't think there's ever been a situation where a currently functioning console has been able to emulate itself. <laughs> itself yeah. Like, is it, you know, is is it doing it in a stellar fashion? No. Not exactly, but still. Yeah. Like, that's buck fucking same. The concept insane. is pretty fucking out there. Like, that, it's one of those things that just makes me frown, you know, in that way of, like, what does that mean? Mm. You know, it reminds me of that Mad Magazine cover that's one of my favorites, where it's, like, just... Alfred E. Newman in a tire swing hanging from a branch and he's he's in the tire swing and one of his hands is on the tire swing and the other one's holding up the branch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like seeing that when I was like I don't know, like five. Just struggling to work out like just what I was looking at exactly. Mm -hmm. I know that doesn't work. I like, wish it did. Yeah, like my brain's arguing with me about it. <laughs> Damn you drawings! Yeah, Confusing but it's like, my mind! It's, it's like, I know it's the stupid part. Like, that's the thing. It's it's not me. It's the fucking lizard brain. Fuck yeah, infinite swing. Because <laughs> they can still make something that makes a fucking profit and still runs better. Because like, you know... I mean, like, all right, look, the fucking whatever yeah, that they fucking... Yeah, they don't need to, and they've invested in, like, a shitload of them. They've, the, the amount of parts they'd have for those things would be fucking insane. I mean, they're going to have to want to make a fucking good game again at some point, you know. Oh, they and will. They're going to need... At, at some but point, they're, they're, they're going to be like, hey, you know what would be do, nice? They're going to do the standard Nintendo thing and do it slightly too late. And, dude, it happened. They, oh, they do know. it all the time. Because they, they don't care about trends. They don't care about the West. They don't, they don't care about any of that shit. So instead of doing things... That's why Sega went fucking down. Because they were just like, we're going to make a million different consoles in R&D. And it's like, why? You don't need to. Well, fuck it. We're Sega. Surprise, the Saturn's out. What? <sighs> Lordy. 
Yeah, they just so there's that. I mean, the Dreamcast was a beautiful swan song. Of I course. mean that. I wouldn't say that. Again, that's, slide too late. I mean, I wouldn't say that that's the the fate Nintendo avoids by being like the weird, you know, fuck knuckles that they are. They're not going to avoid it. They're going to go down just like every single other one. They'll go down for a while, and then you know, two or three consoles, and then they'll go up again. They might wind up like just fucking. TNA and wrestling, like, they're just around forever. Yeah, no, pretty much. Um, like, I, I, we'll see if cloud gaming ever takes off. Like, we'll see what happens with the Samsung thing, with the Xbox being able to play just on Samsung TVs. Because that's pretty, that's pretty big news. Yeah. Because, like, for, that's, that's such a, imagine you're a parent. You're a fucking parent, and you've got, you know, five kids or whatever, and... <laughs> how much, I'd be like, how much, shut up, you spoilt little shits. When I was your age. How much does an Xbox Series X cost? Like eight hundred dollars or whatever, right? It cost that much. No, it doesn't. I don't fucking know. Um, but that yeah. Is what fucking shit costs. <laughs> I just click buttons and then I pay later. And it's yeah. like I don't think about anything. So the, fine. the Xbox costs a lot, but like, imagine your TV just has an app on it. What do you need to do? Buy a controller. Yeah. You're done. Like, and pay the subscription fee. And get access to like 400 games. Like, well, not 400, but however many is on cloud, but you know, fucking whatever. You don't More have. More than a... what you used to get fucking going into a shop. Yeah, going rentals and whatever. Like, it's just there, and that's insane technology, and that's gonna be great. Speaking of Xbox, I'm waiting for August for two reasons. That's when I see my doctor about HRT and stuff. Secondly, Ooh. that's when my you Xbox. Get yourself some HRT. Yeah, that's when my Xbox fridge arrives. Lactate? Because I know men can grow titty I don't know. material, but like, also I think some of that's like genetic. Mm. So maybe if you haven't got like, you know, the fucking, you know, like it's like a sourdough starter. You know, if you haven't got like some fucking titty starter, it might just. Because I mean, if it makes boob grow, like, what's the boob doing if not like fucking being like juice sacks? You know, like. I think it's possible. This is just that fat. I like thought, there is normally. I assume sacks, there's though. possible they secrete, but I. Fucking no. Well, I guess I'll load find out. With, load them up with Pepsi. The second thing is I get my Xbox fridge. What? I bought an Xbox fridge a few <laughs> months ago when they they was finally announced for Australia for sale. I pre-ordered one of those. Wayne also pre-ordered one of those. So we're going to be Xbox twin for fridge twins. It's the same size. It's like pretty much the same size as the Xbox. Oh, well, it's a bit bigger. You can put the Xbox Series X. It fits perfectly in the fridge. Okay. And when you open the fridge to make the Xbox turn on noise? I mean, I'd say it's great for cooling, but it's not great for, like, you know, moisture. No. And, you know, that's gonna fit some stuff in it. That'd be good. I might even use it as a makeup fridge. Okay. Some makeup you keep going. I assume so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Um, on the move, on the move oh, over, we also grabbed a bunch of figures, because I saw them and I wanted to do stuff with them. So, I oh, got... Oh, look, it's like fucking Everyone. Asian stereotype from Attack of the Asians. I believe this is Newt Gunray, and I don't know why I have this figure, but it's... It is wild that you have so a fucking Newt boring. Um, I have Captain Planet. He has a button on and his back, and it makes him... About more, modern shows makes him raise his arms. Whop. He has a mullet. Magnificent mullet. mullet. <laughs> he also uh, has... Stain on him, kind of stain. He was a color changer, uh, so you put him in water and he changed color. You're supposed to wash the pollution off, essentially, <laughs> you know, to to power him up or whatever. Isn't he Captain Planet? He's fucking. Like, why am I helping him? Now I've got a million Batmans. Batman. There was just so many Batman figures, like just so many. Just oh, you have the Batman of Z and R. Every every fucking possible, like. The frustrating thing is, is like, yeah, like, because the thing is, they're all just, it's that fucking situation of dumb shit. Whereas if you sold, like, fucking, you know, if you had, like, a good scale figure, like an action man scale figure, and then sold, like, fucking doohickeys for him, you know? Yeah, that was vehicles. Because that, that's, you know, thematically in keeping Look with Look at shit. this Riddler's face. Oh, Jesus Christ. The penguin's actually a really good figure. Why I think... do I feel like all of this guy's riddles are about the age of consent? <laughs> this is actually, I think, a really good penguin. That's a good penguin. I mean, it is, like, 
It's not, I mean, like, okay, so he's got... Okay, I won't say it's good exactly, just because he, he has two points of fat guy articulation and that's it. Uh, but I mean, it does look like him. So it's got that, like, does the head come off or rotate? Nope. Uh, yeah. yeah, but he, he, you plug a backpack into his back and he's like an umbrella and shit. Uh. I like this Batman because he has a shield. This was cool. I liked I liked figures like this. That so this one has armor. That actually did something so, and would do so stuff. So it, it unclips, and then it has like cause it was like stone armor. It okay. goes on top of him, and like each part comes off. Did he get like a fucking stone ring or some shit? Was that? No, that? no, fucking no. It didn't really have a story with it. I don't think. See, what I liked was that the, at one point there was a Star Wars figure range that came out, and they were what ifs, and they came with a comic book that just. Like describe that the white situation. The question. Like for example, there was a good Darth Vader, yeah. and he wore white. It was a white suit, and yeah, it was a. It was interesting. I mean, was he still called Darth if he was good? I don't good? know. Like, I can't remember the, the circumstances. Stay Anakin, of it. You know, I, don't I don't know if he was good. Maybe he just had a different suit. I know Leia was with him, and it was so things were different. So, but I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I got Darth Maul. That is a really shitty Darth Maul. Look at his face. <laughs> it's yeah that's it looks confused like it's funny because like you know there are the the sites that i buy my transformers from will have other figures on and stuff and it's it's interesting seeing you know the level of detail and effort put in the you know the, the similar range of stuff for other action figure lines you know help me you know? this is a you weird got titty fucking slap spider man, Spider -Man. weird Cause like, oh god, he looks so fucking munted. It's so great. Cause it it's like, it's not bad in a lot of ways. Like, there's a strange amount of detail. It's it's done it's pretty just good. The, it's just the face. It's yeah, the face sculpt is the best way I can describe it is inbred, and the eyes are painted. And like, unlike the rest of the, like again, the paint apps are good, but like, unlike it, this one eye is really good, but it's looking off in one direction, and then one <laughs> eye is kind of warped, but it's looking off in another. And the end result is just like this. Fucking perfect hillbilly. I love this Michael Jordan figure. Like he's, some weird shit. He's, like this is why I've just got like pose. one. I'm, I've got like one interest. You know, it's it, it, it well, was it, it was Transformers my, thirty years my, ago. It's Transformers now. These are from my childhood. Yeah. You know, I don't just have a baffling collection of rubber Negroes. I was a bit younger than you, so I had like I was more into you know a lot of shit. Um, and there was just more shit. Also, I didn't start smoking as early as you as well, which... I don't know how those two things are related, but okay. No, but just like, it focuses your interests when you're smoking, you know? You're really hyper-focus and shit. And I mean, we fucking kind of know why now with your diagnosis and shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go out on a limb and say it probably wasn't all the weed. No, no, no. Yeah, that Michael Jordan's so good because his arms just pose in the weirdest fucking ways. Yeah, cause it's a it, it's a fucking in not NBA Jam, Toon Jam, whatever the shit. Yeah, fucking Space Jam. Space Jam, yeah, it's a Space Jam figurine. He came with a basketball. I know that. Yeah. Well, that's to be expected. Yeah. I think it just come with like a bowling ball. You know what? You know what the fucking back in the day, you'd see something, you'd go to a Mr. Toys, and they'd have like. Two of the possible fucking ten things. Uh, and that's supersonic. The, that's the thing is, you'd never fucking find a store that just had everything. And that was what toys were like back in the day. You didn't even know other shit existed sometimes yeah. because the internet wasn't a thing. No, I, I thought there's looking at Wayne's collection of Doctor Who figurines downstairs. Is like, I still remember having to go to like they weren't even at toy stores. They were just for some reason at the hobby hobby rama. That's so fucking bizarre. And even then, the only things that were released, it wasn't like there was a full range by any fucking stretch. They were like, there wasn't even all the doctors, I don't think, at that point. Right. Like, you know, you just had like, oh yeah, I'll get a Roger Delgado master. And it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know, the one from the 70s. And like, you know, there's like a side. Now there's like, oh yeah, you can get like fucking, you know, figurines for fucking every fucking villain, regardless of how low tier. It's like, oh, fuck yeah, I can get myself a, you know, figurine for the Candyman. Which is fucking amazing for a lot of reasons. I mean, because he wasn't supposed to be a giant man made of lollies. The... Okay, so this is great. So there's a character called the Candyman, right? Right, right. And, like, 
you know, he, 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 he works in, like, this, this crazy fucking planet run by, like, fucking Margaret Thatcher, who wants to make everybody smile. And so, he, he, he kills people with, like, lollies. And the, the diagram of, like, let's, what should this guy look like, was just a dude in, like, a cape. Like, it was, he was, it was kind of, like, vaguely wizard looking, you know, that was it. That diagram did not reach the props department. And the props department built a fucking giant man made out of licorice all sorts. Like, look up Doctor Who the Candyman, because you have to, you have to see this, because it's just... And, like, he was a giant man made of lolly. And... I think he was a robot. It's hard to say sometimes. I mean, really, what's... You know, once you've got, like, a licorice all sort to say the word I in a meaningful sense, you know? Like, what is it after that? I mean, let's ask a Google engineer. Jesus, H. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, that's the candy man. Yeah. Welcome to the candy kitchen, Aaron. He's a giant so lady man. I'm so up, I did not watch Doctor Who. Because I would be, uh, very scared of that. That's fucked. Yeah. I, I do not want to watch that. Welcome to the candy kitchen. 1988. There was some absolute... Fear of my birth. Like, that's uncursed. There were some hot gems. Like, I, I, I love Sylvester McCoy's era of Doctor Who. It's fucking fantastic. Like, even the camp episodes are fucking great, and there are also just some other episodes that are legitimately good. Yeah. That's, um... Yeah, thanks. I have a nightmare it's about candy <laughs> men and axolotls, man. No! It has no face. Like, it has the bits that you'd think a face should go to, but it, yeah. it just has no face. Axolotls are very traumatizing to me, because I always wanted one. I fucking wanted one, right? And I got one! And it died the next day. Because we fed it, and the worm burst through the axolotl. I know. How the fuck does that happen? That's nuts. Yeah. So I I'm a little be... traumatized by that. Yeah, I figured that would be in like See, a fucking... See, this is the new level. Oh, wow. Yeah, you fall down the Mystic Caves and you go to like the secret zone thing. Because like... You'd have gone to a place that gives you the fucking, like, here's axolotl food, and they yeah. give you the fucking worm. Yeah, no, 100%. And one was just like, I'm not having this. Yeah. I mean, you could have had a pretty wild pet worm after that, I suppose, but... I didn't want that thing. This wouldn't be in the movie. I did, yeah. I'd read a fucking book called Frankenworm or something, and it was about, like, this fucking giant dead worm, and I'm not fucking... So I'm a little traumatized at this point. It's very funny. <laughs> Because I thought this story was going to be like, and then your dad just killed it for fun or something. But it's just like, no, and then it just, a fucking worm, the food we fed it fucking just... Metal as fuck. You know, and just just to prove, I have lots of pets that are alive and stay alive. You know, we had a bird that lasted fucking ages. Um, they can fucking hang in there. Yeah, and... Just out of spite, which I do respect. Oh yeah, this one was definitely spiteful. Uh, I think we gave him up because he wanted to mate, so we... Yeah, we gave him up. He was angry. Um... <laughs> he kept trying to molest your dad's head. You know, we had a dog. I had a turtle. Turtle lived for ages, you know. Uh... Goldfish, not so much. But, but that's I mean, what yeah, they do. Yeah, turtles are essentially fucking endless. Yeah. So he was a long-necked turtle. It was pretty How'd cool. You get that? Um, Did you actually go to exotic pet stores or were you just No, I think I caught it at a creek. I can't remember. We might have gone to the creek. Caught it at the creek. All oh, right. I think we might. I don't know. We. I might have bought it. Who? I can't remember. The time is very locked out of my memory. The point is, there was a turtle. Yeah. Uh, I asked in the Discord for people to give us some questions, just to spice things up a little. Um. Gangelly Galax, I can't say that name, it's fucking hard. Said, what individual meal do you most regret? That's a hard question because there's a lot of meals I regret. Yeah. What I regret the most, hmm. Would definitely be the meal I had at Ribbit's. Which is a rib place and it's out of business now, it's gone. Was, it, was a, yeah, it, it was a fixture of Brisbane for a long time. You know, was it just a rib place and a pizza place? Yeah, ribs, pizza. And unfortunately, like... I went there and it wasn't really good. Um, and for two reasons. I don't know why, it just wasn't good that day. But secondly, that was before my gallbladder just came out. So eating that fucked me. 
So, yeah, I regret that meal a lot. What about you? Okay, individual meal. One I was thinking about today, as I went to the subway while we were at Mount Albany to get, like, my lunch. Mm. It was like, there was a while there where, like, Subway had some, I don't know, they must have had a bunch of leftover fucking mozzarella, mozzarella or some shit. Because there was a thing where you could just pay 50 cents to get a bunch of mozzarella from the fucking sub. And I, I usually get like a pizza sub because I, I like salami and pepperoni, so I was like, alright, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Because, you know, I also get my sub toast, it's like, alright, it should work out fine. The thing is, is like, the amount that they toast the sub per the amount of fucking mozzarella on it, don't fucking line up. And the result is inadequately melted mozzarella, which is just this cyst-thick mass. And I was really hungry, so I, I, I fucking ate the thing, but it, from like bite one, was vile. Because there's like this pizza sub, and then there's just this, this volume of material. And, you know, like, mozzarella is not a very flavorsome cheese by itself. No. You know, it's a very delicate cheese. And so there's no exact taste to it. It's just this fucking knot of heinous cholesterol. And after that, I just, <laughs> like, it was one of those ones of just you've, you've eaten just, you know, you, you need to think that you weren't, you weren't eating food. You need to think that that was just a chomp down through this whole fucking brick of just congealed. And the texture was fucking rubbery, but floppy. Mm. You know, like, I don't know, room temperature dildo. Yeah, yeah, I like, know. It. I, I can picture it. And like, every now and then when I'm eating something with cheese and my brain will just go take me back to that fucking <laughs> slab of unmelted mozzarella. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun. And I, I get a little bit crazy. Okay. What game is most important to each of you? Either because you think it's a really good game or for sentimental reasons. I have a big one. Big one. Um. And... It is Pokemon Crystal. Which generation was that? That was Gen 2. It which, was it was okay, the which, third game. Which what was what was that all? Game Boy Color. So that was very important to me because I really wanted to play Gold and Silver. And my parents got me like a knockoff copy while they were in Thailand. Um, and it was shit because like the dialogue was really off and the Pokemon <laughs> names were off and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. It was just a fucking shitty Pikachu like Pikachu was called Puffrat. It was a Cheap, cheap, like, it's just someone, a translation, someone done roughly and thrown on a cart and sold. Yeah, a real, uh, a, a ghetto hack. Yeah. Um, so I really wanted it. The third game was coming out and I really fucking wanted it. And I was hoping to get it because I was in New South Wales, staying in my grandma's house at the time in Glen Innes. And I was going <laughs> back by bus. And I was hoping... Glen it, it was supposed to get released, like, the day before I was going back. So I was really hanging out, like, at the shop, waiting for them to get it that day, because they didn't get the shipment until late, and they didn't get it that day. I was like, fuck! <laughs> and then, like, I get a call the next day, like, before my bus has to go, saying they've got it. And I'm like, fuck yes, so I got it, and I get on the bus, you know, and I, I've been reading the manual, and waiting to play it, get on the bus, you know, got my Game Boy and my magnifier and everything. Yeah. I don't know if I have a magnifier, but I had light. And the game boots up, and it says, are you a boy, or are you a girl? And most people in that situation would just take their gender. Yeah. That to me is a pause. That's a long pause, and I pick go. And this that, is what I mean about, like, I think back of you picking the fucking goddamn girl cactus and everything and me yep. going. That that is that is that's the number one diagnostic tool. Oh, 100 percent. Like, <laughs> not not saying that everyone who does that is, but like I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that fucking I'm gonna make that statement. 
you you know in in, ca in any game that's a fucking ego in, in insert uh, are you always you know making yourself a beautiful lady okay <laughs> so yeah that 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 to me was a like that's a defining like i remember that so clearly and that's that's like so what i'm learning from this is that pokemon turned you into some kind of poof yes right well it's all coming together what about you I was worried it was the time I made you do the fucking Buffalo Bill fucking dance. Nah. That? Oh, you can't let the other fucking transy wadgets find out about that. They'll cast you out. Really? Yeah, it's like Buffalo Bill's like a fucking one of those things they complain about. Because, uh... like, even though he's not, they'll say that he's a, you know, a manifestation of that. Right. That's and it's like he was also based on someone who existed, so. Sure. Okay. Who was, you know. I mean, he was nuts for other reasons, but I he mean, also, I mean, it's like... fucking in the name of comedy. I don't think it's really... Also, fucking... Oh, well, as long as you're just making want... a joke. Yeah, exactly. I don't want people, like, that are that close in mind and shit. Like, it's just... Fucking do shit that makes people laugh. Like, fuck off. Anyway, um, do you have a game that is sentimental or, you know... Uh... I mean, there are games I play a lot that are ancient. I don't know about sentimental. Hmm. Hmm. No, I mean, nothing sentimental. I mean, like, especially, like, you know, because I have a, a, you know, like, a different taxonomy in terms of games that I think are, like, you know, measurably important versus games that I just, like, fucking love and play constantly. Like, because I play fucking, you know, I still play, like, No Mercy, you know, a wrestling game from, like, the fucking... Early 2000s, so I, mean, I think it was 2000 actually. Um, you know, there are games I play a lot. Still. Mm. Well, I mean, that's, that's true. I'm not a man of sentiment in a lot of ways. Mm. I don't think it's because well, what's, what's a the big, problem. You know, like, what's a big, like, you, you still be third strike. I'd, I'd say we third strike for you. I mean, yeah. Like, you know, I, I, I still, like, I, I will say I am broadly impressed with how six is shaping up considering like how Looks five good. started well the the, the thing that's uh, quite impressed me is at first i was a little bit down on like the because it's got parries in it but it's got them in a, in, in a somewhat weird way and at first right. i was a bit down on that but then as the way it works with the meter as the meter usage got more complex and interesting, then it, then, hmm. then it started sort of, you know, it went all right. Well, like, that's something so. we've always been asking for is like more resource management in the meter and what it does. Well, it's more tactical, yeah. you know, give yeah. me stuff to do. Exactly. And like the thing with this is like, so you get like, there's a, you can just hold it and it'll parry. It. But you get like a, basically a, a, a sort of something a little more akin to reuse parry from five. Right, so mm. it's, it's not like a true parry. Yeah. If you time it perfectly, if you do like a proper parry, you get yeah. a perfect parry, which functions like a parry. Yeah. Now, as if you're holding it, you might be going, "Well, that's just cheap." It's like, yeah, but the thing is, it's draining this meter. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, this meter is also your guard meter. And when it turned out that there's also your guard meter, it's like, all right, so there's no cheap defensive options. And if your if the meter gets all the way like lowered, not only are you vulnerable to guard crushes, but also stop. Like. And the meat is also your EX meat. And so there's all this offensive and defensive stuff tied in with this single meter that's also like your guard meter. And what that means is like basically, yeah, you can be using it for shit. And you know, if you do like perfect parries, if you are skillful with it, you get like meter back. Hmm. But if you were dipshit with it, it's gonna open you up really quickly. Yeah. And it's like, alright, that's you know. That's, uh, that's solid. But yeah, I still, I mean, if I were going to make a fucking fighting game, it would just have parries in it. They'd be exactly the fucking same. They'd be parries because that is still to this day the best fucking fighting game we've had. Because it opens up so much. Mm -hmm. And it's the reason Third Strike had so many characters that were objectively ridiculous and shit. Mm -hmm. was because you could, if you were paying attention, if you knew what you were doing, you gate pretty much at all damage with the exception of, like, some command throws. Mm -hmm. and, you know, a few unblockables if you want to get technical. Very true. Runch asks, how often do you think about Sonic's butthole? Probably more than I should, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, almost every time I see Seeger on fucking Twitter or something about Sonic on Twitter, my, my brain goes to Sonic's butthole. 
See, um, I... Funny That's funny. That, that was funny. That sucks, because, like, the speed is so fast. Yeah. I... Don't think about like the, it that often. Like the honest. trans thing, the Sonic... Sonic and Minecraft as a means of diagnosing, like, you know, various autism spectrum, like, disorders, is almost uncanny. Like, it's... There's also, there's like a fucking gene called the Sonic Hedgehog gene that is present in autism as well, which is very, very, you can look that up if you can Google that, it's very funny. Yeah. Um. Fuck you, Crab. That Kingler, or whatever his name is. He gets you every time, look at him. Oh, he's, Float like a butterfly Look sting. at him, he's coming down right. at me. Like. Well, yeah, because he knows he can win now. Oh, shit. Just he's, jump on him. He's a chimp all along. My one defense. My head. It's weakly guarded when I attack! <laughs> On defense. Soft, delicious skull. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Sonic's butthole. Yeah, yeah, like, honestly, weirdly regularly. Just because I've got, like, there's there's a counter-think part in my brain that'll make me think a thing I don't want to think. Look. It's like every time I think of, like, anything to do with Terminator, my cousin saying, Pipu Judgment Gay pops into my head, and that will never not happen for the rest of my life. And that's just something I've learned to live with over the past, like, 30 years. Kyber, you need to start your meds. Or fucking get meds. Because the shit you ask me is demented. Alright, I'm going to read it just to embarrass you. I'm not answering it, because that's fucking stupid. I think if he had shame, he wouldn't have asked it. What would you do if you were at 7-Eleven buying your famous Amber Slurpee, and then in brackets, which is all the flavors put together? I don't do that. And you went to pay for it, but as you put up your card, the 7-Eleven man took it, put it in his pocket, then the machine lit up, and he gave it back to you. How amazed would you be? What the fuck? How does your brain come up with these fucking questions? I feel we need to put you in a room. Like... Like, the thing about, like, you know, the Sonic as a diagnostic tool is, like, you know, you can, you can be discovering new problems, you know. Mm. Like, there are spectrums within spectrums. Spectra. It might be on the autism spectrum, but then there's, like, another one that intersects it and casts you off into a whole other dimension. Hey, what, what did you say? Spectra? Spectra. Yeah. It's plural. I'm pretty no, sure. No, no, it might no, be no, the no. other way what around. Wait, what was it? Spectra. Spectra. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's spectra. No. So it might be that weird one where, like, fucking die and die, so, like, I got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. No, 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 no. Spectra. <laughs> Tism. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, alright. Question from Shadows Cat. Do you yeah, have a, Do you have a favorite sound? If so, what is it and why? My favorite sound at the moment is anything that Kurochan says. Kurochan being lifted up at the end of the episode going, oh, 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 is one of the most favorite sounds in my, my life right now. Yeah. And him falling in the pit going, oh, those two, every time. What about you? Cat purring. It's always been very calming to me. Mm. Good sound. Yeah. I like the idea that, like, you know, it's this little fucking, like, if it were, were any bigger, it'd be, like, one of the most, like, mean, that's like, like, tigers is, like, if these little things were any bigger, it's, like, instantly the most dangerous thing. <laughs> you know, like, there's no more velociraptors, but if you put me in a room, like, I'd, like, if you, if you said you gotta fight, like, a, a, a fully grown wolf or a fully grown tiger, I'm picking the fucking wolf and it's not even a fucking, yeah. you know. Because the tiger will fucking annihilate. Yeah, it will kill you. Yeah, straight up. Like it's a, it's, it's an apex predator. Like. Well, yeah, and it's got like its claws are for fucking rending flesh. Yeah. You know, like it, the dog. I've seen dogs. They can't do that thing that the cats do, where they like curl up and use their feet like a little kick, kick, kick thing. Yeah. And that's fucking cute when it's the kitten. You know, if it's a tiger, it's just like, oh well, that's like you know, I'm, it's like getting put through a fucking shredder. You know, there's nothing mm. you can fucking do. And then there's this little, and then, you know, we've got them, but they're small. And you just pick them up and you can rub your face on them. There's nothing they can do about it. And when you rub them, they rumble, which I just find very funny. I really wish my cats turned into, like, Battle Cat. Like, from He-Man, like, I could just shout, I have the power and then ride off my cat. Because I really want, like, a giant cat. Like a panther that won't I feel, hurt yeah, me. Yeah, I know, yeah, so that's the problem. I mean, like... 
The serval's a good option, but you absolutely cannot bring a serval to Australia. I'm gonna get a bobcat. It'll get loose. Yeah, see, that's that's another one. It's like nothing like that. Like, because the serval will just that'll be the end of all small Australian things. <laughs> yeah. Like it'll that's just well, all, all of them are eaten now. That's it. You know, that's the same. It's the same with like a bobcat. We can't have bobcats here. It's hard enough just with fucking ferals. Mm. Same as like the like the cheetah, I think, because you can keep cheetahs as pets. Yeah. Like they don't, they, you know, they won't attack. Cause, they're but, pretty cool. You know, yeah, they're, they're too small and they meow. And ah. the funny, well, because that's the difference between like a cat and a big cat. Like big cats, they can't purr. They like so they like, but you know, small cats they can purr. And that's like one of the biological differences between them. Right. And so like, fucking, you know, a cheetah can meow, but because it's like big, it sounds exactly like Yoshi doing a little meow thing. Yeah, look it up. Like, look up, like, fucking Cheetah meowing, because it'll have a video, and you can play it into the thing, and you can hear it, and it sounds, it sounds like Yoshi doing his little tongue routine. And I feel like they're big enough to have them in the country, but also, because, again, a serval's just, like, a weird tube, and I don't know if there's... See? Tell me that's not Yoshi. You can't hear him purr. Like, a serval's an absurd animal. It's like a sausage, and, like... There's no, you couldn't keep him in a fucking spot because mm. it'll just turn into a vapor and escape. <laughs> and just, every, it will eat, it'll just kill everything for fun. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, a cheater I think is big enough that you could put a fence up. 100%. You wouldn't be able to just like fucking... If, you, if you're gonna, if your options are owning a cheater, I think you're gonna invest in a fence. Yeah. I mean, like, you probably need a dog track as well because those things do like to fucking run. That's very true. I wonder what the dog track people would do if I showed up with a cheetah. Probably very fast clear out. Clear out. Like they'd grab their dogs, I think, and go. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. What are you, a bunch of pussies? Yes. Yes, they are. I mean, they don't want their dogs eaten. I don't think the cheetah... Like, the thing is, like... I don't think the cheetah... Like, a tiger would, would just mm. for fun, because it's enormous. I think the cheetah would accidentally hurt something when it they came over to like interact and sniff and stuff. Meow. Um Sebs asks, why doesn't Wayne have a girlfriend? Well, to start with, all that is in our fridge is energy drinks. Yeah, you gotta get on the fucking juice so you can start putting a woman's touch around here, because this is the, the most it's such a fucking single dude house. All I'm eating is rice. Yeah, that doesn't mean you can't, like, tidy up and stuff. You know? You tidy up. I mean, the, the carpet here needs a fucking, like, soak. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, and, uh, it's, be, it's been Not sitting. just in here. I mean, just the whole thing. Well, it's been sitting for however many years, you know? Like, it's an older... Yeah, I know, but def still. Definitely, like... But like, the thing is, I vacuum it as long as I get, like, the dust off, I'm pretty happy, because yeah. I'm allergic to dust mites. So, they will fuck me up. Because, yeah, the, the only things in the fridge are, like, energy drinks, and it's... Hey, there's, like, pizza in the oven, which, in the freezer, which I can't eat. And, uh, but yeah, see, all my meals are, like, packets. So, <laughs> which I'm happy with. I was talking about this earlier, that I'm just, like, I just want sustenance. Like, if it's a bowl of rice, fuck it, I don't care. As long as I feel, like, full, and I don't want to eat more food, I'm happy. <laughs> like... Just a tube that deposits... Oh, uh, yeah, the shit that Robocop ate. Yeah, no, yeah. 100%. Or, like, a big gerbil, you know, thing, you know, with a big pellet. Yeah. I'd be fine big with big that. pellet. Because my... The thing is, my gut is so fucked up, I'd gladly eat something just completely neutral, as long as I'm Have you tried not baby fed. food? Well, no. I don't want to. Why? Actually, no, I have. It's disgusting. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I fucking back on a dare when Amelia was younger. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I don't want that. But like, the thing is, I can eat just pH neutral food. There's a lot I can eat. I just have to yeah. invest in the time of learning, you know, recipes to cook and, you know, going and getting the foods. Like, a lot of the foods I won't be able to just, you know, get at a supermarket. I have to go to a fruit store and, yeah. you know, those stuff. It's a shop around, like. You can be one of those people that can only eat durians. Oh, dude, that would suck. They smell so bad. Yeah, but like you can only eat durians, but you you, you don't have the fucking thing that makes them taste and smell good. Aww. <laughs> well, I like just have to watch that I don't eat lots of raw jalapenos, because I, I, I do that a lot. Oh, fuck you up. I fucking love them, man. It's I know, so they're good. so good. They're so fucking good. I, I like them too. I, I enjoy spicy food. Yeah. But 
spicy food doesn't enjoy me. I don't get how that works, because like if my mouth can get used to it, I don't understand how yeah. my bum can't. Yeah, what the but fuck? But it does not, and it just refuses not, and it's just. I don't have that long. much of a trouble with it coming out. I just the indigestion, the stuff is bad for me. I think because my bum's so worked out, you know, it got that hemorrhoid, so it stretched out, and you know, grew some muscles. It's flexing. <laughs> you know, sounds, I, it sounds like a three ring circus. You, you, there, there's there's a big top, there's some clowns, balloons, a muscle man. <laughs> I got asked on Instagram by a guy, how, was, how did I get my ass so fat? And I said, easy, I just sit on her all day smoking weed playing video games. <laughs> like, it annoys me that it's so 100%. Like, there's no, you know. I mean, granted, this we're not talking about the cream of the crop, and I, <laughs> I, I recognize and respect that. But like, you know, a little bit of that going the other way would would just be nice, hmm. just a touch. You know, doesn't need to be all the time. Just a fucking little. Yeah. Uh, dude, honestly, some of the some of the, the way these people's talk is just like. I don't know. Maybe it'll get maybe it'll, maybe it'll get good when I put myself on Bumble or some shit. I feel like they're in a bunker, like mm -hmm. blast from the past. They've just come out yeah. of the bunker. Yeah, so they're they all like, that's a shame. I know. They're all like fucking, you know, weird goddamn. Dudes from Bangladesh whose parents Dude, didn't love so them enough So many to... of them are from Bangladesh. Like, yeah. holy shit. Like, the ones that weren't useful enough to get, like, fucking, you know, arranged married. One that added me on WhatsApp was using a hotel business account. It was fantastic. That is great. And then I blocked him because he was annoying as fuck. And then he added me on his personal account. I blocked him, and then he added me on Snapchat, and I blocked him. Like, he just kept going through my socials, and it's like, fuck off. Get the hint, cunt. Like, Amazing. Like, or oh, oh, pay me. Either or. Pay me, and I'll give you all the attention you want. I'll be your internet girlfriend. I don't give a fuck. Want some feet? Yeah, no, fucking I'll sell feet pics. I'll sell you my shoes. You want shoes? Fucking sell you my underwear. I don't care. The price is right, bitch. I have no shame. Yeah, meanwhile, like, you know, I get to find out that, like, you know, five years ago, some girl had a thing for me and just didn't say anything. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Have you... How did you find this out? Did she just tell you? Oh, no, you know, just through friends and shit. It's like, well, you know, why didn't anything happen with her? Like, what do you mean? I think it was like, well, she didn't say anything. And when you try to communicate this shit to a woman, they look at you like a fucking Westworld host seeing a phone for the first time. It's just like their brain just doesn't fucking... It's like, yeah, you know, you can do shit. Honestly, dude, I think it's just most people. After interacting with fucking both males and females for a while now, they're... It's just people are clueless. It's actually insane. It's like there's so many movies that show you how you can interact with people normally. But you don't take that route. You don't do it. Uh, women, what, what, women's approach is to like make it obvious you should do something. Every now, like there are women out there who will like actively do shit. And look, power to you. You're not like other girls. Congratulations. I mean that seriously. Yeah. But like, oh mother of god. It's, it's rough. How did you not know? I was looking at you from a distance. Uh... <laughs> I was making plans in have my you, head. Yeah, have you tried words? Yeah, I fantasized about you as hard as I could. I was like, uh. Bookie Brony asks, what series, video game or TV shows, etc., do you wish you could get into but never had the time? Hmm. I really want to get, like, I love One Piece. It's one of my favorite animes, but it is, like, 600 episodes long <laughs> and, and still going. And I start it like every few years but then forget where i was and restart it because i yeah it's it's rough that and breaking bad breaking bad i watched the first season and i can't remember it but i really want to watch the rest of it i'm gonna do it because i love brian cranston oh b cran what about uh, you? Um, bum, 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 bum. 
is some shit. I don't know. Lately, I mean, I've been out of wrestling for a while. Like, I've been, like, watching a little bit here, there, and there, there, and sort of just, you know, in general, keeping up with some of the background gossip of, you know, all the things that go on, because that's always fascinating. I haven't really, so I haven't been watching anything regularly in a very long time. I just, you know, and part of me wants to, but then it's just like, uh, you know. Maybe, yeah. Well, I think a lot of the, a big problem is that we've been exposed lately to so many TV shows that are very short. So we, they've got a you know, start and an end, and we get there rather yeah. quickly. So it's something to look forward to every week, and it's over in like six weeks. And then it's like, oh, well, now I'm waiting for the next TV show that's six to eight episodes. Mm. And they keep doing that and they keep cycling them. And Disney's got us on that hook right now. So we look at a show, like, for example, Breaking Bad. How many seasons is that? Like five, four or five? I think it's six or seven. Okay. Well, uh, fucking like, yeah, six I've, or seven. I've, I've only ever watched like four seasons. So I look it. at that and that's daunting as fuck <laughs> compared to Obi-Wan, which is six episodes. Yeah. You know? like, I mean, I will say that, yeah, I, I, I have appreciated, like, it's like fucking, um... Uh, what's that thing? Atlanta. Like, Atlanta's episode's a half hour. Yeah. And I remember, like, it was it was about then, and, uh... Watching that, and I was watching fucking Ash vs. the Evil Dead. And they were both half hour. And I remember thinking at the time, it's like, some of these should be an hour. And then after watching, like, a season of them, I'm just like... No. <laughs> it's actually really good that these are just... A fucking half hour, because... They just cut out the filler. Right. And so, yeah, you just, and, you know, like, you'd be sitting there, and it's nice to watch a show and not be thinking, man, I hope they hurry up and get to the bit that I'm kind of interested in seeing. You know, like, I'm not sitting there thinking, fuck, I hate this side character, or this fucking, you know, thing's not really fucking hitting with me. You know, particularly with, like, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, it was like, all right, there's, like, there's, like, five minutes of setup, and then a bunch of fucked up shit's happened. Mm. Like, Ash got his head stuck up a corpse, his asshole in one episode. <laughs> and it's like, that's great, you know? Because, like, you wouldn't even get that on TV ages ago. And if you did that, it would be the one thing that happened at the end of the season. It's like, it's the end of the season, time to get the special effects out. Or, you know, time to do something so people will watch it again next season. Mm. And said now it's just like, shit's happening. You know? And, like, with fucking Atlanta, like, you know, Donald Glover's not afraid to just have an epi episodes that just have none of the other characters in. Mm. And so rather than like, okay, I gotta figure out a way to get like everybody a fucking five minute bit, you know, yeah. in this show, it's like, no, this episode's about this character. And you might like, there might be a second where like, you know, they're talking to fucking each other on the phone or some shit, but that's it. You know, this, it's, it's, it's focal. And as a result, you wind up with just a, so much of a better series. Mm. It is a very good time for television and movies. Like, Again, people, people piss and they fucking moan, and it's like, if there's so much, like, it's like when I just stopped watching the fucking shitty TV, fucking, like, DC TV shows. Yeah. Because, like, there was a, I watched those because there was a time when they'd have been, like, the best thing on. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and yeah. it's the part of me that would watch, like, oh, yeah, what's on fucking Channel 9 on a Tuesday at midnight? Because mm. that was, like, where genre TV would be. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I'll fucking watch... I'll watch a whole season of Freaky Links. <laughs> it's shit, and it's, you know, kind of stupid, but it's like, all right, it's there. You know, and you, you watch these things, because again, it's like, that's the best. That's, it's the best you've got. And after a while, it's like, there's better shit, and I don't need to be watching this anymore. And every time I, I see people complain about, like, and it's just, it's, it's that thing of, like, oh, this stuff's popular, and I have to moan. It's like, Go find something. It's it's out there, and if you're not looking, it, then you're being a piece of shit. Yeah, you just you're wasting your time by moaning when you could be finding so much shit. As as people want to fight in their life more than they want like a show, because if all you got is a show, you're just a loser with a hobby. You know, <laughs> like I've just got hobbies, yeah. so I'm, I'm not so you know I don't have a quest or anything like that. There's no fucking oh uh, yeah I got to fucking complain or something. And go look. There's holy fucking shit. But that's effort. And then I did like, it's, it's like. I had to be part of a fucking club where I had to physically go to like a video night and watch like bootlegs of Pee Wee's Playhouse to find out that like <laughs> fucking David Lynch had a sitcom that I'd never heard of. Like, You know what fucking pisses me off is when people like on social media, like Facebook, Twitter, was there, whatever, it doesn't matter, go, I'm going to buy headphones or whatever. 
what should I get? It's like, there are literally hundreds, thousands of reviews made for this fucking thing. You're likely You've to not get a very good answer. You've already made probably yeah. a decision. You're probably fucking eyeing up between two brands. And you just want someone to reinforce your decision. It's all you're fucking doing. Stop yeah. it. Grow some balls. Read the fucking reviews. Work out for yourself. And not just the buzz reviews. Read the ones that are like, hey, I've used this for like six months plus or whatever. If it's if it's new device, you're out. You're out of fucking luck. But... Get out there and put some shit in your ear holes. Yeah, like, because there's people that fucking write about what they do. Crazy. Crazy that. I mean, I'd say YouTube's probably the best oh, way YouTube's too, great. Because then there'd be like, you can like, stuff's moving. Yeah. If you, if you need that stimulation, size and 100%, shit. go for it. Yeah, exactly right. The physical item, very important. Um, Yeah, it's, just, it's fucking nuts. Or just like fucking when people go i don't know if i like that game or if i want to get it go watch a youtube video on it go watch a stream on it you if you can't tell from watching gameplay if you even have an inkling of wanting that game or not like for yeah. example i fucking bring up something on the xbox store go that looks interesting watch the video not downloading that that looks shit doesn't look up my alley at all and that's 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 using your brain it's crazy I know, again like you know it's that thing of like you find that out after you've got home with it in the box. Yeah, you'd buy a game back in the day and it's like, ha ha ha, we got your $80, champ. Yeah. Hey, can I? Yeah, which was also like, again, SNES games were $200 when yeah. they were like, yeah. in, in, in relative. Like, yep. They were like, the most expensive SNES game you could get in Australia when the SNES was like the current going console was like 110 bucks. Which is nuts. Yeah, and in like, in the fucking old money, like, it's like $240. Yeah. Bad shit. And like, honestly, yeah, you'd go. I remember going into World for Kids, and you'd walk through the gate, and then there, there would be their wall of games, straight up. And they'd just be like, kind of like you know birthday cards. And you'd you'd pick up the box and you'd take it to the counter. There's, the thing in the box wasn't the game usually; they just have sealed copies or whatever. But then you'd buy it, and yeah. Like, as you said, $110, you know, most 30 first party games were around 90 AUD. Yeah. A lot were 90. Like, 110 wasn't the common price, but there were ones yeah. that were 110. Yeah. And absolutely, you wouldn't know. That's why renting was so fucking popular. Because yeah, it's like, well, $90 is a lot of game, a lot of money. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, when people complain about, like, you know, all there is is, like, superhero movies, and it's like... No, there's not. No, there's not, yeah. I, I, I don't understand that. I've got so much superhero fatigue. Stop watching superhero movies, then! It's like, Watch something else! You know, like, A, there is never gonna come a time when your weird dumb outhouse shit is the most popular. Mm. That's not gonna happen. But the point is, there is so much more weird dumb outhouse shit. And nowadays, it actually, it has, like, a budget, you know? Like, you wouldn't have got, like, fucking everything everywhere all at once back in the day. Mm. You know, it, you, fucking, you'd get one of those, like, you know, every 15 years. Yeah. And it would be kind of B. And you'd be like, well, you know, you got to make do because this is all there is. You know, it's like A24, Bloomhouse, like half of all these, there are whole fucking commercially successful fucking studios devoted to making weird shit. And it's like this, you know, you wouldn't get it. You know what I, I remember fucking renting the most fondly? Mm. Game Boy games. It's wild that you had a video store because like... I, not, video not Easy at Albany to. Creek did Game Boy games. Huh. And it was the fucking best because, you know, SNES, Sega Mega Drive, Dad could just turn off the TV or, you know, want the TV to watch mm. himself. Yeah. Whereas Game Boy... I'm going to go in my fucking room and just play it with no botherance. Go in your room and have Professor Oak ask you confusing questions about your gender. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so... What's that, Professor? You want me to be pretty? <laughs> I want to be pretty, yeah. I'm pretty girl. Pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. Air robot is fucking terrifying. It is good. Here, sure do hair, Mr. Fry. Apparently, like, they brought him back for that weird cameo just because, like, the fucking, you know, chat boards about, like, Futurama were just 
talking about that episode and just everyone kept going, what was with that fucking word about? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pissed off they never showed any screen time to Rectal Exambot. Because <laughs> you can't just throw out the name Rectal Exambot without a follow-up. <laughs> and they did! And that pissed me off. I'm still upset with the series because there's no uncensored version of John fucking. I know Bird. it's so sad. I mean, if they if if they fix that for this season, then I'll be, I'll, I'll be happy. But uh, until then, I'm still upset with it. I told you my name's not slick. It's Zoidberg. John fucking Zoidberg. Okay, you don't want to put it in the broadcast, you know? Fucking whatever. put it on the DVD. Yeah. That's what the DVD's for. I like. I can't remember whether, whether it was with you or what, but it was just like, got the fucking disc home. It was, it was, it was like, us. Yeah, it was like, get it in. All right, great, great. Yeah, watch this fucking episode. You got the fucking... We were waiting for this. so it's long. still fucking said, and it's like, look. I nearly fucking threw the disc across it's the room. It's not 1990. I was okay. pissed. Because like, Family Guy, all their DVDs are uncensored. Yeah. And shit's funnier. Yeah. Swears are funny. Like judiciously used, yeah. yeah. Like just not just constantly. No, but like Brian leaning over the table and going, "Yeah, in your fucking in face, you fucking fuckwad." Fuck yeah. yeah, it just because it makes it makes when he sits back sheepishly and just go, I, "I'm sorry." It's just like so much better. Yeah, like yeah, that was an outburst. It's like fucking you know, seeing the South Park movie, you know, back in like fucking two thousand or whatever. It's, you know, you, you watch the series when, you know, because it came, it started when I was in like in year nine, mm. which is, you know, the perfect age to appreciate and enjoy South Park. <laughs> but then, like, you get to the movie and with, like, it's just, it's normal for a bit, and then they go see the fucking Stuart and Philip film and the shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. But I was so high. Oh, dude. <laughs> that would have been the best. Yeah. You would have been laughing so fucking hard. No, the best, the best fucking bit. We had German exchange students with us. And, like, it's these two girls, and they're just, there's that whole bit with German shit porn. And, oh, like, I forgot going, about just that. German people are fucked up. And, like, someone we were with was just, like, literally looking at them and pointing and laughing. <laughs> just still see this, like, fucking half cinema dark frown. Angry German girl being like, shut up. <laughs> uh, it, was a, it was a time. I don't remember that movie. I rented it on DVD. That was close. I fucking, I get so greedy on these levels. Yeah, no, that's I impatience. But the thing is, you've got like continue, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. I just, I just get impatient and angry. Yeah, 100%. Game's not doing what I want. Fuck game. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like boss fights that are about patience. That you know? was like bullshit. That to, yeah, I feel that as well. You know, like I don't. Yeah. Like, because that's not a test of anything, my capacity to like be not playing the game. No. And it's like, all right, there's, there's situations where it's like, I gotta be patient because I can't attack. But then there's situations where it's just like, this is just taking a while. Yeah. And like. It's not like it's taken a while because it's just taken a while. Like, you designed this. This is an artificial reality. Blah, you know? that was good. Fuck. I went slightly to the left. He got his metal mohawk. He's, um, he's a dick. Like, you can, you can really fucking speed through this fight if you get the bounces, like, really good. Bounce on his forehead. Because, like, as, as you saw, just, grammarish forehead. <laughs> just before I died here, you can fucking jump like up and hit him and bounce down on his way through. But it's fucking risky. You're better off just waiting, like. Cause you can kill him pretty quick still. Like 20. Yeah, like you've been tearing through him. Cause I remember playing this when I was like fucking, I don't know, like eight or some shit. Just Oops. being like, fucking Jesus, this is so hard. And then you beat him and you got no rings and you got to fight fucking. I know. Dr. Fuck Suck Dick. Like. He's fucking mech, As bullshit. much as I love Sonic 2, I think Sonic <laughs> That's bullshit. Sonic 3 had the better ending because you'd go into space and as Super Sonic you'd fly through the shit if you got all the Chaos Emeralds. And that just felt like a better, way better send off because the Super Sonic comes into no play here at all. Yeah, it is just kind of like you get like a sort of rad bonus that's cool but it's also like 
you get it like a slightly different cutscene at the end. That's it. And it's like, okay. The other one I got a space battle. Yeah, the other one you get like meaningful, you know. And also I do find it funny that so much of these games have a fact they just outrun the fastest. It's you know, it's like that the stupid, flash thing yeah. where it's like, oh yeah, I'm Barry Allen, the fastest man alive. It's like I'm Dr. Robotnik, yeah. the fastest man alive. <laughs> I know. It's like I get that you've got these weird long gazelle legs, but like Put Robotnik in Smash Brothers. God damn it. I'm fit. pissed off he's not in it actually. That like cause yeah. there's only Sonic. Yes, Bose. Because, like, the thing is, if you're going to go and put the cameo, put the fucking cast in. You know, I'm not asking you, you to put know, every like, Street Fighter character in, but now the, I am. Whatever the next fucking... You know what they should call it? The Nintendo Switcheroo. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. that no, they should. You know? I've done market research. They should call it the, uh... It's, this is a hit with chubby trans lesbians. Fucking bingo bango. Money in the bank. <laughs> What were we talking about? Huh? My brain just turned restarted. What were we talking about? Uh, what we did last week. No, like, just just then. Like, literally just then. Last uh, thing we talked about. Uh, Fat guy's running. And where do we go with that? I don't know. I think my pills are wearing off. Oh, shit. Fucking my brain doesn't work. Your pills are wearing off. We're fucked. Uh, we'll call it a day. The lyric, it took your brain. Fat guy, so we're, outrunning we're Sonic. We're nearly done. Like, this has got five minutes left. Okay, I didn't realize we were doing the length of the video. Yeah. All right. Might as well. Five minutes. I don't know the structure of these. The structure of a house is essential ah. for not dying. I hope, like, I get flying soon. <laughs> I just want flight, you know? If they said, hey, the back's fucked, you can fly, I'd be like, yeah, so sweet. You could get the Thai surgeons to install you a colossal gliding labia. That'd be sick. Yeah. Imagine the, I can imagine the noise whistling. <laughs> no, I just want, like, get, like, flaps of skin wings, you know, just they unfurl, and it's just, like, horrible looking. Well, I mean, the wingsuit's proven the fucking yeah, you know, true, the theory. Actually. Like, it's. And could you be just... like a sugar glider. <laughs> well, that's like, because, you know, you get those people that lose shitloads of weight really quickly and they wind up with, like, the fucking, yeah, the skin suit. Yeah. And it's like, you know, all right, you want to get surgically removed so you don't look like a skinny guy wearing, like, you know, fucking Buffalo Bill suit or something. And it's like, fine. Yeah. I get that. And also... Yeah, also, if you fucking just sewed it right, <laughs> you could have, like... <laughs> A really spiffy gliding membrane. Yeah. You know. I'd fucking take that. You just paint it, like put like a Red Bull logo on it. People will think it's a fucking, <laughs> you know, a suit. You'd be fine. Red Bull. Logo. Yeah. Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah. I mean, you know, in a way, I suppose. Like, That's what Red Bull should do. They should start surgically attaching wings to people <laughs> and be like, look, Red Bulls get gave him wings. He's killing me. <laughs> Sewed half I just pigeon love your head. that they give you this tiny ass picture. Uh, yeah. Like, come on, I just beat the game, guys. Give us, at least, give me a full screen graphic. Like, I know, that, that, like, it's crazy because that was what the whole game was about. Was like trying to see the graphics you didn't get to see. Yeah. It's like we, we, we put like fucking a few sprites in. There's some drawings. Because imagine this on a CRT. They could be tiny. Yeah. Piss tiny, especially if you're playing on one of those portable TVs. Well, that is in black and white, so you'd be wondering if, like, the color fucked up or I something. I did that. I played in black and white. That's a bummer. Yeah, but it was there, you yeah. know? I mean, yeah, like, it's if it was It's better than not option. playing the game. Fucking good old RF tuning. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into my, to my fucking, my 64, into my TV. Luckily, the Super Nintendo and 64 all took the same plug. The when they take the AV, same AV cables. The AV fucking plug the same up until like the Switch. Up until the GameCube. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, the Wii as well. I think used no, the Wii used the same. Uh yeah, the Wii was the last one. The Wii, like, the yeah, Wii was different because it was yeah. HDMI. Well, I mean, yeah, like that's. All right, we're all on one thing now. Yeah. There's just the TV hole. <laughs> uh, it's like that. That's a good thing. I'm glad it's just TV oh, hole. Oh, thank fuck, dude. Like. 
Component this, cables yeah. back in the day were good because they gave you such a great picture, but you also had to plug in like six cables. This is yellow. Why well, don't really have yellow? I think this one's cream. I don't... <laughs> you yeah. have green? I don't, we don't have a green. What the fuck? Oh, this, man. This audio, this visual. I think I can hear blue. <laughs> and then you pull, like, you, you pull your head up and it's just all fucking whack and you're like, shit! <laughs> Sometimes you get weird looking colors, and other times just the sound would be and playing. And that was better than the RF fucking thing, too. You have to, like, lose SBS. Yeah. But you didn't want to lose, because that's where tits lived. <laughs> Man, yeah, it was wild back those days. The special dude. boob casting service. I'm... I do want to go back in a time machine to those days. Just as a time traveler, you know, just... Just grab, uh, grab myself some of my nostalgia juice and come back, you know? Sell, sell it all. I can, I, I can get around that just by downloading retro porn. <laughs> you know, like I can, I can, uh, you know, that stuff, the stuff from like Europe in like the, the early 70s. There's not as much, uh, there's not as much good heavy girl stuff from early shit for me though. See, like... The interesting thing about it is the girls were definitely a lot chubbier, I think, in general. Yeah. This is a good bit of milkmaid chub on them, but yeah, there weren't a lot of what you'd call the hefties. No. But definitely a lot of, like, you know, yeah, more natural. Yeah. You know, a little bit more boob variety. It's funny, because it's gotten back to that, too, really, because there was just... And it's funny how much media analysis went on for what has ultimately been a very, very temporary period in pornography. Mm. You know? Because, like, that was a very narrow band. Of just like, all right, you know, we're gonna make every girl get implants. <laughs> like, well, what's the fucking point? Like, what's we the really, goddamn really fucking did, point? We really laser focus into yeah. one fucking canal for a while. Uh, it is. It was just like that. Was like 1980 to 1985, and then it was just like, well, that's boring, you know. Uh -huh, you what else correct. can we look at here? Because just every tit looked like Doctor Robotnik. There's knuckles. Huh. Look at that. Little post-credit knuckles there. Knuckles and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles. we've got like post-credit Shadow now. Yeah, I can't wait for that movie. What's Shadow's deal in the games? Because I don't even remember. So he's like a clone. Okay. And what, what was his first game? Was it Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2? Sonic Adventure 2. Right. So the, the guy, I can't remember his name, was trying to create like the ultimate life form. And so naturally you'd pick the hedgehog. Yeah, well, I think they, the idea was like Sonic is so good, so, you know. Fair enough. Modeled it off him. Yeah. But anyway, Shadow, like, learns all this, that his memories are kind of all fake and all this sort of shit, and then decides, like, to help Sonic out and fight the other prototype for the ultimate life, which is the bio lizard, which is the big lizard at the end. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we've got both kinds of ultimate life, hedgehog and giant lizard. I don't know what religion you've been paying attention to, but, you know, that's it. Fairly simple binary choice, hedgehog or giant lizard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Natural two choices. I mean, like, we could meet you halfway and make you a lizard out of hedgehogs. I would appreciate but, it. Yeah, like, I, you know, I will say that you know, no party is going to enjoy that. What about, what do we call it? Lizahog? Lizhog? Hedgehog. I mean, it's hard not to want to end everything with hog. Right. You know? Liz hog. Yeah. I mean, Liz that does sound a little bit like jizz hog, which I think is... Liz a hog. The, the, you know, the marketing team might run into that. Well, there you go. Liz a hog. There you go. Hmm. Like, I like the, I like the, the name hog referring to the dick. <laughs> That's always funny to me. Because Hal says it in fucking Malcolm in the Middle. Says oh, he's hog, and it's just fucking. Brian Cranston is a gem. A hog Such is a, a good one actor. for like semi indirect, and then you know you got a piglet after that. And then on the back you got a little poo. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Awful, 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 awful. Yeah. All right, this has been what we did last week and what we done done. Hope you are keeping well. We will catch you. Next time, I guess. Yep. Good night.
Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know...